Welcome everybody to the GDQ Hotfix. You're watching Game Masters. And boy, do we have a show for you today featuring the SM Arcade, the Super Metroid Arcade. It's a super, super awesome twist on the Super Metroid we all know and love. Before we get there, registration is live for awesome games done quick 2024. And if you'd like to attend the event in person from January 14th through the 21st, the second submission period is also open until November 27th. So for any games released after August 1st, go to gamesdonequick.com for more info. We look forward to seeing all of the submissions in the second submission period. And I am joined here by Eddie, the one and only Eddie, who uh, has been grinding the SM Arcade for how, how long now, Eddie? Uh, you, say you've played this? <laughs> you know, honestly, not that long, maybe like three months at this point, but for in, in the realm of arcade, that's kind of a long time. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also the, the world record holder in the number of rooms reached in the time attack mode with, I think, 606 we've already been talking about. And you'll find out what that means shortly. But first thing I wanted to ask is, what the hell is the Super Metroid Arcade? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good question, Fed. So Super Metroid Arcade is effectively, it's a uh, complete room randomizer. So every time you start from the beginning of the game, you go left or right. Uh, every room that you go into is going to be a completely different room. Um, and each door will lead to a completely random room in the entire game. Uh, damage in enemies uh, and speed of the enemies, they scale every 10 rooms pretty much to infinity. So. Later in the game, they will start killing you in one hit. Small little bugs that you know you don't think are going to hurt you <laughs> oh, much. That's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> they become the most dangerous things in the late game. Um, there's a lot of other things: uh, space jump, gravity, screw attack, plasma. Uh, I mean, space jump's not that great, but the other three items are very powerful, and therefore uh, they are actually temporary buffs. So if you get those items, oh. they are on a timer on the top right. And uh, you will not uh, keep them once the timer runs out. You run out of them. You can get them again, though. Oh, that's um, so cool. Like yeah. power up in an arcade game. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. Yep. So other things uh, in arcade, uh, every time you kill an enemy or you find a secret, sometimes, like, so for example, on top of Chozo statues, if you jump on them, you get points. Every time you go through a door, you get points. Every time you kill enemies, you get points. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like an arcade game. If you get those points, if you're playing a time attack, you will gain time on your timer. Um, so if you play the time attack mode, which is what we'll be doing today, uh, it's important to get as many points efficiently as you can so that you maintain that time and you don't run out. Um, and there's lots of secret things that you can do in arcade that give you the additional points called achievements. Um, and that kind of pretty much does it. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things I can go on with arcade, but I feel sometimes we might have to move on with it to see and explain when it kind of comes up. For sure. When we actually get into the game, I'm, I'm sure y'all will understand uh, very quickly. And another thing I wanted to ask, um, since I, I see this a lot in like the Kaizo community, but less so the Super Metroid community, but you actually play with a a hitbox controller. Um, yes. So I'm curious, like in a game like Super Metroid, like I've only played it on controller. Like, how has that helped you? Um, kind of like what made you choose to play with that input device? Yeah. So uh, when I was really really young, I did have a Super Nintendo, and I used to play on controller. Uh, but I think my brother eventually at some point gave away his uh, Super, my, his Super <laughs> Nintendo, which is also my Super oh, Nintendo no. in that sense. Uh, but I played a lot of games growing up, including um, just uh, retro games and on the keyboard. And so I've been playing uh, I've been playing on keyboard for pretty much over two decades at this point. So that's wild. <laughs> um, eventually, I uh, you know I, I got a console, and um, I you can't plug in a keyboard to a console. So what I ended up doing is I built out a hitbox controller. Uh, it's maybe I could hold it up to the screen real quick, but basically yeah. it's a little controller, arcade button. It's essentially the same layout as my keyboard, basically. So kind of like WASD if you're familiar oh, with that's so cool. FPS style games. Yeah, and then. Um, that's what I use to play, and uh, I, I do think it has some advantages. Um, in particular, the D-pad is going to be a little bit more uh, easy to use because you have four fingers hitting the directional buttons. But you know, I do know how to play a controller too. But this is my input device of choice. Um, I think it's definitely an option. The Super Metro community does allow it. So, if those of you are interested in this sort of the input device, it's completely allowed. Awesome. Yeah, because I mainly, for those of you who've never played Super Metroid, like the, the reason I like this idea and I may steal it is the <laughs> presence of the run button, which makes it like it's very, very important. And you can't swap in the game settings like having run on by default or walk on by default. It just makes it so hard to do 
anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a very, very awkward game uh, to control, as good as it is, um, but yeah, anyone who's played it understands. Uh, yep. Last thing I wanted to ask before we actually get in and um, you know start like give everybody a primer mm-hmm. on the SM Arcade is, is your name actually Eddie? My name? Is in fact actually Eddie. Uh, uh, actually, it's short. It, Edward is my full actual <laughs> name, but everyone calls me Eddie. So yes, I am Eddie. How did you get that name on Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say uh, you know I've been around Twitch for a while now, and I've had some friends that worked there a long time ago. So awesome. <laughs> I got I'm glad, it. I'm glad, yeah, every time I see like a, just the name, with, like no numbers, no underscore TV at the end of it. <laughs> No dot .ttv or whatever. I'm always amazed that somebody actually has that username. <laughs> so, anyway, um, Eddie, are you ready to uh, to dive into the arcade? Yes, I am absolutely ready. I think at the beginning we're going to start off, uh, I'm just going to sh- kind of show off the interface and maybe start off on an easy mode, uh, and then I'll go right into that arcade hard difficulty, which is what we're looking for after. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Already I see like there's just so many settings here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, so uh, I guess right before we start, I'll kind of show there's little achievements to us. I haven't gotten every achievement. It's kind of hard to get it on the arcade mode that we play on, but, you know, we got like the no damage stuff. Uh, We have this YOLO with the exclamation mark that uh, we'll talk about a little bit later. (laughs) Stay stay tuned for the YOLO. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, there's a bunch of things. Typically, if you get these these, uh, achievements, they will get you points, and points are a way to maintain your timer. So that's something to, to, to think about. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think uh, we're kind of getting ready to go. I'll start this on easy. Uh, I won't complete the easy run, but I'll just show off the interface and kind of show what it's all about. Sure thing. All right. So uh, Make sure to answer your coin. Hope you have a big stack of quarters. <laughs> yep. You, you, for this, you need to have a whole stack of quarters. <laughs> all right. So uh, can I start us down right now? Yeah, go ahead and give us a countdown, Eddie. Okay. I'll start on five. Here we go. Five, four... Three, two, one, go. Good luck. All right. So once again, this is easy. Uh, I won't complete this one. Uh, So first things to note, top left, three minutes. That's how long you have until Samus will just automatically explode, basically, and your run is over. Um, Points, for some reason, you start off with 50 points. Don't know why that was kind of implemented in. Uh, The very top right number, 452, is my record for easy. I haven't played it that much. My time attack record is actually 606. Um, And the number right under that is how many rooms you're in. So right now I'm in room one, number one. And that's kind of like, that's kind of what we typically measure. um, We kind of go with the record by. So the higher you can get that number, that's what we consider is like a PB, I guess you can say. So if I got 453, I'd have an easy PB. Um, you might see the four little icons uh, from the top left, that's gravity, top right is plasma, bottom left is screw attack, bottom right is space jump. And uh, if I were to acquire those items, you would see a green bar and it ticks down and when it's gone, I lose it. So other than that, uh, that's kind of it for the uh, intro right here. So I'm going to do a quick little uh, little exploit achievement right now. Uh, normally there's a strat called the CWJ and how you typically do it is you do, well I kind of did it right there, but instead of um, like a normal wall jump, uh, it's a continuous wall jump. So if you're to wall jump forward and then you get the wall jump frames and then continue your wall jump, that's considered a CWJ. So I'm gonna get that achievement really quick by kind of cheesing it. And what you do is you actually run full speed to a wall and you try to do a wall jump on the first frame possible. So let's see if we can get this. There you go, got it first try. So CWJ, you see it's flashing. Uh, that's not. I got five thousand points for that one. <laughs> it's. Uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Uh, it's. That's not exactly a CWJ, but you know that's just a. Uh, as speedrunners, we find ways to save time and and <laughs> do the best we can in the game, right? So, so there the you go. So the timer doesn't start until you leave like the Criteria landing site. Nope, it does not. All right. Uh, yeah, it does not. So you can see the timer's ticking down now. Two minutes fifty six. If I hit zero, I lose time. You can see the first room I got is a refill room. Uh, I have no damage, so it's no big deal. I'm just getting right here, and this is room two. So now I'm on room three. Okay, so we'll just kind of get through this room pretty simply. And as you can see, when I'm killing things, uh, I'm getting like some points, right? So every 10,000 points, you can see I have 5,350 right now. Every 10,000 points, you actually get a boost of increase in time. So that's how you maintain your timer. Uh, in uh, Super Metroid Arcade uh, for the, I uh, just got the smooth achievement right there. 
Uh, that's uh, falling down here without uh, landing yeah, without landing yeah, on the ground. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, a few so, things I can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you go through a room, you get points. Uh, in arcade, you get 500 points when you kill some enemies in arcade. Uh, you saw I got 50 points per kill there, but in arcade, I would have gotten 250. It's a little bit different. Um, the other thing is you might notice that this door locks behind me. So if you get a major item like this phaser, right? That's what opens this door. So uh, some items are actually bad because they start to put in logic rooms that are more difficult. And so some people ask like, oh, why don't you, why do you pick up grapple if grapple gives you bad rooms or something like that? You don't have a choice. <laughs> if you don't get the grapple, the game will lock you out until you get it. Get it. So that's kind of the choice. Uh, in Super Metroid Arcade, if you go on top of the Chozo statues, there's usually a secret there. So sometimes you want to pick up those secrets uh, to maintain your timer. Is that and just like a, um, just they have like general like tiles or whatever, where if you go anywhere in it, it's just going to give you the points and you just kind of like hide them throughout? Yes, pretty much. At this point, you know, like for myself, I know where the vast majority of them are. Um, so once you kind of learn where the secrets are, the best way is to kind of like watch people and, as they play. Once you kind of learn where the secrets are, you kind of figure out strats to efficiently grab them. So in the previous room, I would have jumped on top of this Chozo statue, shot, and then I would have ran this way to kind of collect it efficiently. So here's another little achievement in this room. Uh, this is the Green Hill Zone. Uh, if you don't have high jump equipped and you get this little wall jump up here, that's the smooth achievement. So you see in the plus top left, I have plus 90 seconds. Uh, in arcade, this would only give me plus 40. Uh, but because I hit 10,000 points, I get that time increase. So yeah, in arcade, uh, how it works is you get plus 40. But then once you pass room 50, uh, once you get 10,000 points, it's only plus 30. And then once you get past room 100, every 10,000 points is plus 20, and that's where it stops. So. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. so aggressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so it's kind of important to bank a lot of time early if you can, if that makes sense. You can see one of the strategies is uh, to just quickly jump on the Chozo statue and then run up and grab that. It's an efficient way to grab that secret. And uh, yep, there's a secret like right here in between the little two tubes. And we'll go on for just a few more rooms and then I will uh, I'll, I'll restart and we'll start at the um, we'll start at the uh, uh, arcade mode. But yeah, so important to note, the enemies scale. Like I said, they start speeding up and they start hitting much harder. Uh, it gets really out of control. They will often one-shot you towards the end. But the spikes, they will always do the same amount of damage uh, no matter That's what. Nice. Yeah, so sometimes you have to tactically hit the spike so you don't get hit by an actual enemy. <laughs> oh, hey. Um, a, va a vanilla bomb. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I played way too much randomized. Yep. So in general, are like the uh, the item pickup locations like the the same? So if you're in this room, it's gonna have this item, or are yes. those also shuffled around? Yes. So all the rooms are uh, pretty much vanilla. There are some modifications to certain rooms. Uh, they're they're kind of on a case by case basis, but yes, the item locations are all pretty much in the same spot. Um, something to more important. The other thing to know about this game is if you go through a left door you will come out a out of a right door. And if you go out into a right door, you'll come out uh, out of a left door. Likewise, you go through an up door, you'll come through a down door. And if you go down a down door, you'll come through an up door. And a lot of people like saying, you know, whenever I say up door, a lot of people like saying, what's up door? Ah. And I, I never entertain those people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I love those kinds of jokes, but. <laughs> uh, I think the GDQ audience will love you. <laughs> but yeah. So we're going on, uh, as you can see, these are all very randomized rooms. So there's some tactical implications. For example, if you go through a left door, you know I'll, you get the, the right door room. So you can alternatively maybe take a path like this and choose an up door. So one of the things uh, that's kind of like the meta strat, I would say, is early game, you kind of want to take the right doors. And that's because the vast majority of the major items in the game are in left facing doors. Right? <laughs> So one little secret right here. But yeah, so right now, early game, one of the things you really hunt for, you want that speed booster. That's probably the best item in the game because um, it gives a lot of good runs. Uh, it gives, it turns a lot of bad rooms such as this one into good rooms because in this room, if you get a speed booster and you spark up this uh, climb shaft, you actually get a bonus, an achievement, and that gives you additional points. 
So if you had, uh, since I don't have that speed booster, I'm essentially losing out on that, if that makes sense. But yeah, as you can see, it's a long room too. So. Exactly. All right. So as oh, you can no. see, oh, you you got timing just yep. as you're about to run. Exactly. <laughs> so there is a in this specific room. It's not every room. This one has a, an achievement called Cleanser. If you kill all the enemies, you get, I believe, five thousand points. So I uh, I definitely knew I was timing out, and I rushed to kill it. Sometimes you have to make those decisions, <laughs> like, oh shoot, do I have to do I kill everything in the in the room to or to uh, get as much time as possible, or do I go through a door and just hope that I get something else? Um, something to note: if I get a boss room, timer actually stops. So also, if I pause, the timer also stops. So that's one of the reasons why it's nice to play Super Metroid Arcade. Uh, it's because it's kind of competitive. You know, there's a leaderboard for it. But also, if you if you kind of like are busy throughout the day and you have to maybe step away, you can just press pause and the timer stops, and you're not at oh, the mercy nice. of like an actual physical timer because that's not how we score things. If that makes sense. That's very. That you know what? That's awesome. Yo, can you can you cargo here? And that's that's a. <laughs> Let's see if I. Oh, there you go. Uh, right wait, there. was that a secret? Yeah. No. Nope. It, it's not a secret. Well, there's a secret <laughs> no. right where I'm standing, but this uh, a kago the kago is something. Yeah. Say. Either. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Disappointed. Disappointed. That's not points. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll do it again for you. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of these platforms, like it, it works off of those spike platforms so well, where if you morph ball at the the right time, you kind of just like go through it like it doesn't exist. Yep, exactly. Thank so you for humbling me here. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, doing this. <laughs> <laughs> On the uh, mushrooms here, there's a secret. Uh, there's 750 in the uh, arcade version, so they're a little bit less on this easy, but I'm about to run out of time. Uh, this is where X-ray would normally be, but it's replaced by just missiles, unfortunately. And oh, I am oh, dead. No. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody got it right. There will be a quiz at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, so th th there's not going to be a quiz. But yep. as we get into our first, like, actual run, as, as we're going through this, um, w what is YOLOing? YOLOing. Okay, so... <laughs> Once we get the speed booster item, that obviously unlocks the ability to do a tech piece of tech called the Shine Spark. And YOLOing is an achievement that you can get if you do a horizontal Shine Spark through a door. Now, uh, you get 500 points for it. When I first started doing Super Metroid Arcade, I would YOLO every single time because I'm like, why not? I get 500 free points. Um, in fact, there are some rooms that if you YOLO through it and you have the spark through, you get additional points. It's called a Shine Skip. Because some rooms, if you spark through it, you get it's it's crazy. It's a bad room otherwise, and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, there are a lot of rooms where you YOLO and an enemy will just kind of during your start, you crash into a wall, and during the animation that you're trying to like recover, a monster will just kind of touch you, and you will instantly die. <laughs> so I would say there's probably like a ten percent chance, um, especially late into a run, that if I YOLO, I might end up dying. <laughs> that's that's what a YOLO is. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, if you want to see a YOLO and you are watching the stream, uh, we, we set up a little bit of a deal for y'all. If you give us uh, two gift subs, two subs, or 500 biddies, at the next possible opportunity, Eddie is going to YOLO Shine Spark through a door. <laughs> <laughs> so if that interests you at all, uh, I'll be tre I'll be uh, keeping track. And, you know, we, we just got a uh, resub, resub in there. So, you know, the first one, if you just get uh, one more sub or gift sub, you know, as soon as you get that shine spark, I'm, I'm going to be calm for it. I'm going to be keeping track, everybody. So, uh, <laughs> You're not going to let me <laughs> dodge that one, make things huh? go either very well or very poorly. There's not too much in between. <laughs> All right, so quickly uh, got my little CWJ right there. Once again, that's not actually a CWJ, but the way the game is coded, it thinks it is. So, and you see the top right, 606, that is my record. I'm just letting everyone know getting a 606 takes over three hours, and I'm almost certainly not going to get a 6. If I get 200 rooms, I'm going to be I'm going to be very happy. <laughs> so, hopefully uh yep, just saying if you uh, are predicting and you put a lot of rooms in and someone decides to donate to YOLO and sabotage me, I might be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, well, you got one YOLO already, so... Yeah. Um, <laughs> as soon as you get that speed booster. Oh, boy. All right. So, quick thing, Bomb Terizo, I don't have Morph. Typically, you do some sort of lineup over here, but what you do is you stand right here 
where if you look at where I am, uh, I just look at the feet of uh, Samus. You stand here and Bomb Teresa will instantly jump backwards. And then you stand right here. And Bomb Teresa will, if I stand right here, just whiff and jump backwards. So if you are getting into Super Metroid Arcade, uh, that lineup is important to know. Uh, it's not pixel perfect. It's a pretty big window. Um, but yeah, that's just a, one little piece of tech that oh, we studied. Oh no, what have I done? Okay. What have I done, Ed? Oh, no. Oh, okay, we're, uh, okay. we're up, I, we're up uh, to uh, seven uh, yellow left. Uh, <laughs> huh. All right, and, well. Uh, yeah, Harvey, thank you for the 2,000 videos. And um, for you, yeah, Tamaris, thank you so much for the 1,000 videos. And the Asian, by the way, you're 100. I will be counting it, so. All right. Well, if, uh, it, if this gets too much, I'm gonna have to increase the price. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no stranger to a yellow out of yellows, but I'm a little nervous. We'll see. It's fine. So yeah, I've got seven yellows marked down, so I'll just be checking them off. As soon oh as my go. goodness. Okay. Uh, something I want to point out in case there's expectations. Uh, I, I do hold the world record for this, um, but the, the fact of the matter is, I absolutely could. Uh, first of all, just checking right here. 2,000 points. Um, I absolutely could just die in like room 15. <laughs> it, it happens a lot. Uh, I tried to play it aggressively because of the additional time bonuses, especially in the early game. Uh, so I don't want to waste too much time early game. Uh, so don't don't be shocked if I die in like room 50 or something like that. Oh wow, that's like a lot of points you can get just from taking those guys out. Yep. Yeah, it's it's actually really good. All right. So if I had speed booster, I would go ahead and do this room, but no speed booster. So we're gonna continue on ahead. Thank you for the 500 videos. That's another yellow. Oh my goodness. All right. You know, we, we'll were, to... we were talking about this before the show. It's like, well, what should we do here? And, um, you know, I, I was thinking of having a little bit higher. Then I was like, you know what? Let's bring a little bit lower. <laughs> um, so <laughs> as a result, you, you now have eight yellows to do. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> you said, what, 10% chance that just ends in death later in the run? So. Yep. And this is a room where I absolutely might just die. Uh, it's quite difficult, and I have no equipment. Oh and I'm going to jump this Ooh. boulder. Okay, oh, all right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> if I touched that boulder, I definitely would have been dead. Uh, luckily, I have grapple for this room. So these worms will probably kill me. And so will these pancakes. And it's important that I kill them. Now, this room seems slow, but you do get a lot of points. So it offsets the uh, time loss. And if you kill everything in this room, you get the cleanser bonus. So it's actually no quite a good room. Either. Yep. My, my my strategy of just more uh, doing a mock ball underneath just doesn't work. Yep. The gravity suit. You know, I, I, you say that this room is actually called, I believe, the thread the needle room for that exact reason, because uh, <laughs> the mock ball is nice and you kind of thread the needle down there. But yep, there's my cleanser, and I have four minutes, so I built up a minute since the beginning. All right. So there's no benefit inside of those refill rooms unless like you were low on energy. Yes, and later game if I have a. Uh, if I have a reserve or a lot of E-Tanks, that does come into play. Um, something I haven't, uh, that I'd like to point out. In this game, E-Tanks, or reserve tanks, are maybe the most important thing. One reserve tank is maybe the most important item in the game. Um, and the reason behind that is, if you have a reserve tank, uh, if I if I get hit for 5,000 damage, I will, uh, I will survive. Because the reserve will let you kind of take a free one-hit KO, if that makes sense. So I'll survive and I'll have 50 HP. So getting a reserve tank, sometimes in these arcade runs, the run doesn't really feel real until you get a reserve tank, because otherwise you can't make any mistakes, if that makes sense. But the reserve tank lets you make that mistake. So I took off high jump boots so I can get the smooth bonus. You can't get it otherwise. I was just otherwise. about to ask that. You are way ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is this, is this for getting the smooth? Yes. Yep. Yeah, shout outs to the grapple beam. You know, it does one shot some of the more annoying enemies. I hate these pancakes. I hate them. <laughs> They're they hurt so much. The waivers, not so much. The pancakes will probably kill me. All right, so this is the charge beam. Um, it's actually this charge room. You will always end up beginning it, and it's you kind of want to delay it until you have better equipment because charge unlocks bosses. You cannot get a boss until you get charge beam, and so yeah, that's kind of a. You know, I don't really want to fight Pantoon with this loadout, and I can after this, so. If I fight Pantoon, good chance I end up dying. But uh, we'll hope for the best. So definitely want to hold off on the charge if you can, but unfortunately you don't have an option. You have to pick it up. Sometimes it happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to go through this room. 
So you may have already mentioned it. It's like, so do bosses spawn at like a certain room count? Uh, kind of like just random. So I can't get Ridley right now because I don't have Varia's suit. Uh, it's so it's not like in logic if that makes sense. Uh, Dragon I could get right now, and Dragon would mean I'm I'm dead <laughs> with my current loadout. It's it's kind of unfair. The the logic isn't perfect, we'll say. Uh, but yes, if I get Dragon right now, I'm dead. Um, All right, you hear that, arcade devs? <laughs> <laughs> we might have a. We actually do have a, a dev in chat, I believe. So, <laughs> uh, fun fact: this hack actually came out, or sorry, this uh, this game came out at 2017. Uh, it just had a resurgence recently because um, oats and goats. Um, oh, uh, first of all, hold that thought. That snail would have killed me. Just letting you know. I'm going to, yes, it would have absolutely killed me. I'm going to do a grapple jump. Whoa. Wait, what? <laughs> and if what? you did four grapple jumps, that's 10,000 points total. And there's a 5,000 point secret here. This is a really good room to get. There we go. Got that. Oh, so cool. Yeah. So yeah, 15,000 points and I'm banking a lot of time. It's good so far. Um, but yeah, um, uh, Oats and Goats, one of the you know more prominent members of the community, uh, kind of got this popular, decided to start playing it, and uh, kind of <laughs> inspired a lot of people to start playing it as well, so including I, uh, including myself. So uh, it's it's been a lot of fun. A lot of people that have, you know, been Super Metroid lurkers uh, and, you know, were maybe intimidated by um, kind of just like speedrunning the game. Uh, this is a really good way to start. There's been a lot of people that are just like, you know, what, I'll give it a shot. Uh, I'll let you know, usually complete casuals, if they try arcade time attack, um, typically, they'll only get uh, about 30 rooms before they end up dying. Um, and even people that kind of have played Super Metroid Arcade a little bit, or played a little bit of Super Metroid, um, typically don't really get past like 50 rooms until, yeah, so it's, it's, it's quite difficult. <laughs> the, the lengths yeah. that have been pushed in the last few months have been quite, a, okay, um, I might die here. This is one of the hardest rooms. It was considered one of the, this is one of the rooms that was considered maybe impossible to do. Um, so. I'm gonna Hang give this on. a shot. Let's see if I can get this. Oh boy, Ooh. okay. Uh, I didn't make I the did ledge. I did not know about the tech of just waiting till the block crumbles, then you just grapple again. What? <laughs> I've been doing it the hard way, high jumping from the sand this whole time? Okay, so. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, first of all, this this room is hard. The time has stopped in this room. It's a, it's a little bug in the game, so I can take my time. Um, something, I scrolled the camera down to get that Metroid active, but I want to make sure that these Rinkos are frozen, so I don't have to worry about them. Uh, fan, that is one room that is actually modified in the game, so it's not oh, okay. the same. <laughs> Alright, I was about to say, it's like, how did I not know? Is that to make it more viable, like, without grabby suit, just kind of like locking you in, basically? Uh, I think so, yeah, I'm not actually sure. So, actually, that room is important to point out. Oh, uh, kind of fell a little bit. Okay, so let's get the scrapple jump real quick. I'll get myself another 10,000 points. And you know, I'm gonna head over this way because there's a super missile that I want. Ooh, just kind of. Yeah, yep. Um, so let me grab that. I had a thought, but I completely <laughs> lost track of it. It's kind of hard to think about uh, what to do in arcade and uh, speak a little bit at the same time. But, um, oh, so that, that room, yeah, that, that normally led to the other room, right? I guess that was yes. the Yo, Krakenmeyer! Krakenmeyer. Yeah, this will be fine, right? Yes, it'll absolutely be fine. <laughs> um, no problem here. So, uh, boss rooms are, in theory, if you are a very, you know, if, if, if you can do the boss rooms well, in theory, the boss rooms are always good because the time stops in the boss room, so you can only gain time. Alternatively, you could die. <laughs> so if you don't know how to do bosses like Krokemeyer, you could be in big trouble. But uh, it's only good for your timer because uh, you won't lose time uh, during the bosses. But uh, yeah, on that note, Pat, that room that you were talking about earlier, uh, that, that, that grapple block in the middle above the, above the crumble, uh, does not exist. <laughs> so, right, sorry about that. I can rest that. easy now. You can, you can, yes. There's some small modifications to each room. But, uh, oh yeah, on that note, there was a door on the right that was blue. Um, sometimes people would say, why don't you just go through that right blue door? Uh, that's one of the only rooms in the game that's uh, kind of different. Uh, if you go to the right side, it actually leads to the same room, just the other side. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's a, it's a huh. special case room. 
So uh, I can't actually go through the right. It'll just uh, it'll just be the right side of the room, and it'll effectively just reset everything. So you have to go up the top. Um, and that was when when the whole resurgence happened of this game. Uh, that was considered a, an impossible room, but not anymore. We've kind of figured out the tuck. Very good. Is that a quarter muncher room right there? Pretty much, yeah. All right, so space jump. You can get up there with high jump alone, but uh, just use space jump to break the water. There's a secret here. I'm going to grab it. It's so scary because that bug will kill you <laughs> if you're not careful. Uh, oh, this is a hard room. Okay. <laughs> Would that bug have killed you? Yes, th that bug will 100% have killed you. The Meridia bugs do a lot of damage. These ouches on the ground give 1k each. So uh, even though they're not a threat, I'm actually going to lay a power bomb here to get 1,000 points each. And it kills the three flies that are in this wall. You just saw them die right there. Oh, yeah. 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 This is another room that will often kill people. Uh, it's it's a difficult room. So I'm getting some difficult rooms right off the bat. <laughs> but you know what? I'm in for the challenge. Yeah, from what I understand is, uh, will it kill you? And the answer is... Yes. Yes. <laughs> now we're only in room 44. The damage, uh, uh, the damage multipliers hit every 10 rooms. So it would be like uh, room 11, room 21, room 31 is when. Ooh, this is a bad room. Let me see if I can oh, get hey, through it. it. Yep. Uh, Bandit, you know, I know you're no strangers to randomizers. So this is one of those rooms that everyone kind of has to learn for randomizers. For sure. Yeah, and unfortunately, it's quite difficult. I'm taking a little bit more conservatively right now. Um, just Though usually what I'd love to do is just uh, spark through it, you know. I wish I could do that. Now, if I YOLO <laughs> through, if I YOLO through, I would get a if uh, achievement. If only you had the speed booster. If only I did. Know. Unfortunately, I don't. I almost want to avoid the speed booster because I don't know what's... Uh, <laughs> I have quite a Look. bit of uh, YOLOs in store. <laughs> Look, you know, the, the gracious GDQ chat has spent their hard-earned money to watch you YOLO. That's so, true. That's darn true. it, I'm going to make sure you, you, you have, I have a little, I have a physical piece of paper. That's right. A physical piece of paper. I don't have a notepad up. And I'm drawing little, little ones on here for every single time. And then I'm going to make them an X after they've been created. So, yes, I'm keeping track. I'm keeping score. All right, so these fire fleas are moving much faster now. Uh, Unfortunately, the base damage of the fire fleas is low, so I don't think they would have killed me. Um... There's, there's so many variables that change, so uh, I'm just out of familiarity, I'm pretty sure the fire fleas wouldn't kill me, but uh, I know they would still hurt me quite a bit. So here we go, we got wave beam. You, you are, really want to go through those white do uh, those right doors so that I make sure I get these beams, and I might be in big trouble here. Oh no, that's really bad. Okay, so, uh, okay, oh, let, I might die. <laughs> okay, I think I can do this with 299 HP. Think it's enough for fried shrimp? <laughs> I might be able to, yes. I think I'm just enough, Ooh. especially if I do. This is typically a run under if you see a room like this, but I'm going to try my best. Oh man, I'm, I'm definitely a little scared. Let's see if I can fry this shrimp. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, I'm alive. Okay. I'm alive. It's fine. Okay, okay. So on this side, it's always a little dangerous. The right side is definitely much safer. So please, goop. Nope, okay, so I'm gonna have to try again. If I get gooped again on the ground, so it prevents me from jumping. So there we go. All right, let's see, I think that's enough. Yeah. Oh, yes, there we go. All right, Carby, thank you for the 10 gifted, by the way. That's going to be five more. You know, I think I'm going to have to... We, we oh, have, boy. Let's see, I, I got 10, 14 yellows. Oh, I, I boy. I think we got to price this up. <laughs> I, think, I think we got to price this up. What are the I, things? I'm going to say that the discount is over. The fire sale is over. <laughs> Uh, from, from here on out, I'm, we're, we're going to say five subs or a thousand days for it, since we have so many to catch up on. We haven't found a speed boost yet. We still need to find a speed boost. We do, we do, we do. Yeah. You know, a speed booster is actually a pretty common item to get. So it's 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 a little, actually a little surprising I haven't gotten it yet. Um, oh, so we have Varia. Um, all the hard rooms are in Lower Norfair in the vanilla game and Upper Norfair. And Varia, because you need that to prevent the fire, uh, the, the heat damage. Now unlocks all of those rooms. So 
If I get a bad at lower north room, I could be in big trouble. <laughs> uh, so here's actually a good room. Uh, this, it's scary, but it gives a lot of points here. So let's try. I'm gonna lay some power bombs to do some extra damage. Yeah, yeah, they will one shot me. Um, but I know it looks like it's gonna. They give two k each. It looks like I'm taking a long time. Uh, but that guy where I just killed, he actually drops a secret. It's four k. So take that. I'll kill this guy just to be safe. Just to be a little careful here, because I want to go out the top door, because if you go out the top door, you get a daring bonus, and it's worth 5k. Oh. So it's a very good room for points. And this is the best, one of the best rooms you can get. It's the plasma room. Strongest beam in the game. A lot of, a lot of points, and I have the plasma, so everything is just getting destroyed, basically. So I have high jump, so I can make this wall jump up here. It's a little tricky. We'll get out of here. There is a uh, there is a secret you can get if you have um, speed booster in there. Where it's called not plasma spark. It's a little tongue in cheek reference to a uh, an old secret called uh, plasma spark. It's a KPDR strat uh, any percent, but uh, not in the game anymore. So there's an achievement in there, but I don't have that speed booster. Let's see if I can get it. Gotta take these right doors. Oh my gosh! Go oh, ahead. Hey. No. This is mother brain. <laughs> <laughs> so I have two I have two E-Tanks, I lost it, and I got missiles. It's called a penalty bonus. And the reason why I got it is because you need a certain amount of um, missiles to beat Mother Brain. Uh, otherwise you can't break the glass and you can't you know do the damage to Mother Brain. So the game uh, can still give you Mother Brain and what they do is they take away all your health, which is really rude. Thanks Leoran, <laughs> the dove, one of the doves. Uh, so I lose all my health. Uh, basically I'm left with two measly E-Tanks. Um, and uh, I have just enough missiles where I have to go and kill every single Zeb. I cannot do the Zeb skip and break the glass, and I have to reset the room multiple times. All in the all in the meanwhile, the oh, no. the Rinkas and the turrets will all probably do a hundred damage or something. Or if they knock me in the lava, I'm done. So, uh, <laughs> if I do everything correctly in this room, then I will get over twenty thousand points. I have a very high chance of dying at this point, though. So we're gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best here. Nothing is guaranteed at this point. Oh my gosh! So I'm gonna reset this room afterwards. This is so real. What, what do you I mean? I know you've played this a lot. You spent you have many runs in SM Arcade. Yes. But w would this qualify as marathon luck for the first seat of the night? <laughs> well, is marathon luck a good or bad thing? <laughs> um, usually it's seen as bad. Uh, as bad thing. So there's two ways to look at it. <laughs> if you are, you know, uh, I guess less experienced, or you're not going for world record, this is in fact marathon luck. Uh, <laughs> now, if you're going for a world record. This is extremely good luck because, okay. oh my goodness. Are these Rinka's one hit kills? They're not one hit kills yet. Uh, it's still early in the game. So they will not kill me right now. These turrets are extremely rude. Sometimes you just can't do anything. They'll, they'll, they'll knock you into the lava and then you're basically dead or the acid. So I'm doing a little, uh, <laughs> I'm doing a little, uh, little exploit here where if you grab the, um, you can see I'm moving while I'm getting the refill. It's a little, uh, a little low percent ice strategy, um, but you can kind of move immediately after unpausing. Now I didn't get, this, I will have to grab the super missiles, but I'm gonna do this first, break the glass first. I didn't know the is the glass saving a. Uh feature of the arcade or is that vanilla behavior? That's vanilla as well. Yeah. So yeah, I've never I've done like a, where I've killed the, the Zebatites and then run back, oof. but I've never actually tried to break the glass. That's super interesting. Yep. Today I learned. Thank you. Yep, so if you actually uh it, in competitive rando it does come up as a thing where sometimes you have just enough uh resources to break the glass. But uh and then and then you can maybe get through Mother Brain one. But uh, you know, if you're in that situation, it takes a really long time, so you'd rather just find an extra missile pack. But yeah, in this case, uh, the devs have uh, so kindly just gave you just enough where you can't zeb skip. You have to actually do everything and break the glass, or else you will not be able to uh, complete the game. 
But I got through that mother brain one. Why don't you have plasma at least? So. Exactly, yeah. So uh, plasma, even though the time is stopped in this room, plasma does not. It does tick down, so you do have to go. Um, but yeah, 20 shots in the face. We'll take care of it. Um, I might survive an onion ring. If I get hit by a barrage, I'm probably dead. A french fry might kill me. A meatball. All aptly it named is, things. <laughs> I, th this is one of my favorite things about Super Metroid is that all of Mother Brain's attacks are like American fried food. <laughs> That's the meatball. Yeah, there it is. All right. Show There's me some a french, french fry. Fries. There, there, yeah. There's, There's another meatball. There's the onion Oof. rings. Are, do, do we have to deal with ketchup as well? Yes, we do. Is the full, full Metroid, yeah. Like, give me some ketchup. There's some the ketchup. And fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And with that plasma, um, honestly, that went through. So getting through Mother Brain at room 62, uh, I'm not trying to get anyone's hopes up because absolutely not. Once I, Like I said earlier, unless I get that reserved, the run doesn't really feel real. But this is, in fact, a very, very, very good run. I have banked up so much time at this point. Six minutes and nine seconds. The timer caps out at uh, nine minutes, 59 seconds, which I've gotten before. But uh, yeah, it's just yep. too bad you're gonna have to yolo so much. Like, oh, <laughs> I completely forgot about that. It's oh just too boy, bad. It's so unfortunate. Yep. GDQ chat, you know. Um, <laughs> so someone, someone put all their channel points in on like sub 100 rooms or something like that. They want to <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Uh, it's another boss. It's probably create at this point. Yeah. Okay. So typically, uh, I think. Uh, Let's go. That's the exact amount you need. It Unless is. It. <laughs> but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna use the charge beam with a wave, and I'm gonna try to do this with one charge and one missile to conserve the supers. There we go. And I got ten thousand points for the quick kill and three thousand for killing crate. Now uh, you can do the other uh, strats, but oftentimes you don't have three supers in arcade, so you have to learn how to do stuff like the nine missile crate quick kill. Which is always quite the okay. Um, I don't know if I'll survive this room. <laughs> this Yo, room... Eddie, this is like the twelfth time you've said. Oh that no, but I'm run, serious you know? this time. I'm, I'm actually you, serious. serious. I'm 100 percent serious. You? Yes. Yeah, type one, if you actually believe Eddie. I I, two, I don't. don't. I've gotten this room Eddie. two times. You typically need you need speed booster for this room. That's the problem. This might be the worst room you could possibly get. Oh my gosh, like you see that I don't actually know the patterns of all everything here. So I have to take this really conservatively, maybe follow the power bomb explosion. I'm kind of winging this on the spot right now because definitely a little nervous here. Oh boy. Okay. So these are speed booster blocks and I don't, okay. The devs have been really rude here to force us to do all this. Okay. Oh, get oh this. no. Okay, 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 I made it through. <laughs> oh, I meant Shocker. to go the right door. Shocker, Eddie made it through the room that was going to kill him. I'm oh telling you, God. it's hard, it's hard. <laughs> All right, I'm rewarded with a good room. It's another 10,000 points that I'll get. How difficult is that trick? Uh, it's not difficult, it's just kind of weird. You have to... Unmor oh, 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 this is a good one. You have to just learn how to um, unmorph and jump properly. So it's kind of like you're spamming. Now, if I spam wall jumps here, I can make it out and break free. And the reason why this room is really amazing is it's a reserve Wait. tank. Oh, it's, it's, it's the dog. It is the Franker C it, dog, it, it, yes. It's, the, it's that dog. <laughs> it I've seen that dog. Yep. It is the Franker Z Doc. So now, uh, what I will say, I'll let everyone know, is this is in fact an extremely good run. Um, but nothing is guaranteed, once again. <laughs> you know, maybe you did roll good luck with the fact that it's just, it's going to deliver speed booster at the most inopportune time, I think. Yep. You know, I can't wait for the first YOLO to just completely destroy me. And it's going to be. Make sure. And it's going to be amazing. Twitch.tv slash Eddie. And. Uh, as you can see in the pin message from our wonderful Ogden Rocker, you know, if you really like this run, like I'm really liking this run. I don't know about you all, but I, I'm really, really loving this run. Remember twitch.tv slash Eddie slash subscribe as well. Thank you. All right. Oh boy. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta go. You're in a timer here. 
If you don't have two power bombs, you're almost certainly dead. You can do it if you only have one, but otherwise you you will basically die in the acid that's rising. <laughs> so that's another room that I believe the dev set. Okay, so hmm, I have to think about this now. There's a very uh, this is long story with this. I have to think about this for a second, but. There's a trick here. It's, a, it's an achievement called Impressive. It's worth 10,000 points. It means I have the damage boost off this Bouillon to the left. It gets me 10,000 points. I'm not sure if it'll kill me or not. Usually I end up letting my chat decide if I should do this or not. And I'm trying yeah, would, to decide. Would, would chat agree if uh, if you do this, this would count as one of the YOLOs you have to do? Uh, it, it's giving me that kind of vibe, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Calculating, yeah. <laughs> Calculating, doing the math, doing the Oh, uh, I don't know if I should go for it. I think I can survive it. I think I can survive it. If I don't, I'm dead. I'm 100% dead if I take this hit and I don't survive. Right, well, I, I only see people saying do it and yes. You know what? And, you know, David T. Guy with the yellow. You know, I'm going to say this counts as a yellow. As you go through. <sighs> okay. I'm going to say this counts as one of the 14 that are in the queue for you to do. Okay? <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get it. I might just die. Here we go. Oh, I missed yeah! it. Okay, I missed Wait. it though. I didn't reach the ledge. No. <laughs> okay, at this point, I know I don't have the health. So, I'm sorry, friends. I can't go for it anymore. <laughs> All right, then I'm not giving you credit for that. Okay, no credit for that one. It's okay. We'll get the speed. Oh, here we go. Speed booster. All right. We've oh got no! It. Here Let it comes. The fun begin. Here it comes. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna die immediately in this room right now. Oh, refill. That's nice. Hey, at least you got a refill. Yeah. yeah. It's like the game knew what you're about to do. I know. Thanks, Deer Force. All right, free tank. I'll take that. The game knows. This gives yep. you all the health. Yep. And I cannot YOLO this room, but there is a secret here. I'll pick this up behind this guy. I'm not going to grab the health down there because sometimes some of the bugs survive. And uh, if I touch it, I'll die. So I don't want ever want to risk it. Oh my gosh, it's another reserve tank. You don't need more than one. But uh, this room is really nice because, I mean, you're just getting free ammo and uh, you're getting a reserve. So, yep, really good seed so far. I don't have Spazer though, so I do want to take Red Doors still so I can get that Spazer Beam. And that'll kind of lock me in uh, with uh, the best beam I can get without uh, Plasma. So here's a room that's really cool. I'll show you some tech right now. So there's two secrets in here. One's called Up the Shaft, which I'm going to get right now. Let's park up here. And that gives me 5,000 points. And then I'll moonfall down this way. And I'll get the cleanser bonus as well. So very good room. Oh, that's so sick. Yep, it's definitely a piece of arcade tech. It's really cool. Uh, we're going to head to the right, see if we can get that space here. Oh, I could have YOLO'd that Hang room. On. I could have YOLO'd that room. All right. Damn it's right okay. You could have. All right, all right, all right. We can YOLO this room. Uh, no scams this time. Sorry. <laughs> here we go. All right, here we go. Our first YOLO. I'm gonna get punished. Look at the top right of the screen. Oh, I'm I'm I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> no way! Oh, wait, you're good. Can I survive? <laughs> oh gosh, let me out of here. <laughs> All right. Well, so my reserve is gone. <laughs> I'm in for a long. Today is gonna be a long day. I can tell right now. <laughs> All right, that's that's one. That's down. the only one. I'm gonna grab this. <laughs> so got the secret. Got five thousand points at the daring. Okay. I don't think I could have asked for a better room to spawn. <laughs> I deserve that after missing the first YOLO attempt because I could have done it. As you can see, these crabs are flying. Crabs are probably the number one cause of death in arcade. Um, and I can YOLO this one. I have to do some crazy short charges sometimes in some rooms to YOLO, so uh, bear with me. This one's not too hard, but I don't have a reserve, so I will die. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, right into an e-tank. Perfect. All right. <laughs> That's good. Let's grab the secret. That's and, uh, two down, 12 to go. Got that grapple fly? Yes. Yeah, nobody knows what rooms that Eddie is going to get. So yep. we, we just got 12 more of these to go. Thanks everybody <laughs> for Southern and Sheeran. If you want to see more yellows, five subs or 1,000 bitties. I'll add one to the counts. Here's another one. Oh, God, please. <laughs> okay, we got some missiles. I wouldn't normally get this, but we're here. So let's get it. And not YOLO in this room, no space for the Shine Spark, but I'll try to store a spark here if I can. Okay, here, here. I know this looks weird. I could just go out that left door, 
But for the sake of clearing out the five million that YOLOs that we have, I'm going to show some uh, really, really cool tech right now. Okay, we're going to charge this, charge the sign spark, and then we're going to go back up the elevator. <laughs> and uh, you know, I need spacer, so let's take the right door. All right, here we go. Oh, happy! Not full happy, Yo, but we got the MP. happy. That, that, this is my room. All right. So I don't have space jump, so we're gonna have to do some uh, grapple shenanigans here. Uh, in fact, this is the best way to go about it now. Just de boost. And, oops, just over selecting, but here we go. And this is another room. We had this earlier. The snail would kill me. Oh, <laughs> got it, got it. I thought you knew that was yep. coming, but yep. it kind of scared yep. me. <laughs> he, he was a little further than I would have thought. Sometimes there's also a snail that'll pop up up here as well. Yeah, so gotta make sure. Now, I do want to get the secret. It's 5,000 points. Oh. Is there a cap on the timer? Uh, 9 minutes, 59 seconds. I kind of figured. That's yep. It. I have gotten it once. So that crab is going to kill me. That crab is a global crab, as in even if you're off camera, it will still move. So the funniest thing is when you spawn at the top of that room, and uh, people are kind of like not aware that that crab is actually booking it the whole way, and end up <laughs> and end up usually like clobbering someone at the very top and taking them out. It's a pretty common thing. I should have farmed those violas for power bombs, but yeah, that's fine. There's a super in this room, but I'm not going to get it. I have plenty of ammo at this point. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and farm some of these uh, seahorses. They give power bombs, and you really... If I don't have two power bombs, there's a good chance I just die. So I'm going to make sure to grab these and head over to the left. Don't want to take those right doors for Spazer. You know, they, they do kind of resemble seahorses. <laughs> Alright, free super. Never say no. And we got Survivor, 100 rooms. That's nice. I'm glad we got that on the first row. Okay, well, here we go. Oh. All right, this is number five. Oh, I don't have my reserve filled. I'm so nervous. Oh, it's a good YOLO. It's a good YOLO. That's Yo. a horrible room otherwise. <laughs> 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 so far, everyone's just hooking it up, actually. You can't keep getting away with this. It's okay. <laughs> we still got nine more to do. One of these is going to end poorly. Surely. You know, it's funny. The first one was the worst one so far. Every other one has been pretty good, I would say. Now this room, if you get through without taking damage, it's damageless, so I'm going to try to do that. Uh, you know, we finished the first prediction Woo! here, but, you know, we, given how we have a speed up booster, given that we have quite a few more rooms to go, given that there's nine more of these to go, do you think, let's see if we can get a prediction in here, if uh, maybe it can be 150, it's uh, Well, hold that it's thought, hold, hold that, that thought. thought. <laughs> I, this is the hardest boss in the game, essentially. So if I can get through this, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, he, he kind of gave you an awkward pogo pattern. You're supposed to roll yeah. underneath him. Ridley is the worst boss in uh, arcade. I would say Mother Brain is definitely a little bit easier. Um, it's because Ridley has patterns that sometimes are unavoidable. Mm -hmm. And uh, that one is actually kind of tricky at the beginning. But some, most often what happens is you get them down to 10% HP and then he decides to kill you. <laughs> but it gets kind of complicated. One thing I want to show quickly about the UI. Uh, if I were to press select, it would show the code where the question marks are. And you can actually submit that score to the arcade website. And that's how you get your score on there. It's actually that's really so cool. It's really cool, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. But, well, Eddie. Uh, mm -hmm. I got so, I got some bad news. Uh oh. Uh, first of all, and this is like bad news for Chaz, like the runs the, the run died. Rip. Yes. Uh, but the good news is we still got two hours, baby. So we're just going right <laughs> back into it. And more bad news: Lucky Canuck with two thousand babies are adding two more to the Yolo counter. So we are back up to ten. Oh Wait, no! Let me, let, me, let me count my little tick marks. Yeah, ten. Ten left. <laughs> All right, well, maybe I'll get first room speed booster. Yeah. Nope, not quite. <laughs> I, I will say that was a, a very admirable run, given what you had you do. And I do like that, you know, the YOLOs didn't actually kill that run. Yes. Thank Ridley for that. So. Yes. In, in a way, you could say it killed the run, because uh, I was never able to refill the reserve 
<laughs> when it got popped on that first yellow. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe the. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I deserved it because I, I did miss the YOLO on the previous room, so... But, yep, that's, uh... That, that, that was a good one. <laughs> All right, I, I'm I think I got everything I wanted out of this, so... The rest <laughs> of the show is just gravy. <laughs> I don't know if uh, there was another prediction up or anything like that, but that's one of the funny things about uh, the YOLOs is... Uh, if you are doubting that I can make it to a certain room, you, you can, in fact, influence my chances of surviving with, you, with you the You know pits. what I think? I'm not sure if uh, Richard's already put a prediction in there. But if we can get one of, will Eddie die to a YOLO in this run? Again, we've got <laughs> 10 of them to go. We don't know. No, none of us know the room order. None of us know when Speed Boosters is going to go. But And I would qualify this as, if you, like, go through a room, with the speed booster and you you can play by the honor system here and you could say that speed booster resulted in my death in that mm -hmm. room we'll count that okay so now one thing i will say i got a room five reserve that's insane i have a room five extra life so <laughs> that's always a good start that's probably one of the best starts you can get this is uh the charge beam is uh unfortunately maybe not the best but you gotta take what you can get that's uh, as if you are just joining us, we are playing the SM Arcade. It is a uh, version of Super Metroid uh, created by some awesome people several years ago um, that kind of like remixes the entire game into like a an arcade style with points and getting times and all these rooms are random. A whole bunch of really, really cool little details. Absolutely. I, I love the flashing on the screen, like when it says secret. It, it gives me like pinball vibes. I love pinball yeah. vibes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Nice, uh, quick move. That was pretty fast. Thank Usually you. Usually I have to start from the previous rooms. So that was awesome to see. Yep, that's definitely, uh... It's like a backup tech if you uh, play the other categories to do the quick mock ball. There's another way to do it, but uh, I'm not willing to necessarily risk uh, <laughs> some of the more difficult strats. That, uh, or if I if I do that, I would be risking losing the secret, so don't want to do that. All right, this is the crab room. So one of the things Fine. in arcade, <laughs> uh, I know that sounds crazy. How did you identify that? Now the Meridia tube has no doors, right? right. So uh, once, if I'm, 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 what I'm, one of the things I'm doing in arcade that's unique is I'm actually staring at the door transition. And if I see that there's a room with no doors, I know there's a very, very, there's like only a few rooms like that. It's probably going to be that crab tube. At higher oh. speeds, at higher speeds, those crabs will zoom and instantly tag you. So it's very important to stop and immediately just 180. But uh, now hey, I have speed booster. Let's go. <laughs> the speed booster. Oh boy. Well, I do have the reserve, which is always nice. I'll do my best to charge a spark so I can maybe get into rooms I normally wouldn't be able to. Oh, okay. Here's, we got. here's, here's one we can do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay, safe. Okay, safe, safe for now. <laughs> yep. Whoever donated for that, thank you for the free 500 points. You know, the people that are donating to make me uh, make me lose the run, I always got to rub it in there. Oh, well, uh, karma. <laughs> Immediately getting Fantoon. Um, so Fantoon, base damage, 40. Uh, the flames and the body hit for 40. Um, every 10 rooms, Fantoon does 50% more damage. So we're in room 19. So what I do is I look at the tens digit and I add 20. So it's 60 damage right now. So I'm calculating I want to get two small healths or one big health to take an extra hit potentially. But here we go. Let's see if we can get this. Okay, so it's a slow pattern. Now this is this is good for those who think you were not going to die during a <laughs> during yellow. Yep. Oh, interesting. So you do the you do like the aggro phase. You just do the the pseudo screw. Exactly. You know? In in a regular speed like run, this. you don't ever do this because it takes so much real time. It takes forever, yeah. But time is stopped. So uh, essentially, getting a super in is essentially like hitting him with five six missiles for free. So very important to just uh, do that. Yo, nice hit. 
For those of you wondering, Fantoon does have a set number of patterns they can uh, read depending on uh, where he spawns on the screen. So he's gonna start in some spot, and then Eddie knows exactly where to stand and when to fire shots. Yep. GG, that was awesome. Thank you. Yeah, so for there those are who- There a lot of patterns, so it's always impressive. <laughs> so for those who don't know, um, Prior to running Arcade, uh, I did some randomizer, but I was actually, uh, I'm actually an 80% speedrunner for Super Metroid. Um, and my peak ranking was third, which was last year. Um, so, uh, I have some experience, <laughs> I'll say, in this game. It's a competitive yeah, I, category. You know, third, third place in 80% in a category as contested as Super Metroid. You know, I hate to admit this, I think Eddie's kind of good at the game. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. Uh, this room is really bad, by the way. Yeah, I was hoping for more death. <laughs> okay, so I can yellow here. Here we go. Let's go for it. Here I have go. a reserve. Oh, well, okay. Well, I'm going down. Don't have a choice. <laughs> going this way. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Take off these high jump boots. A quick smooth bonus. Turn these back right back on. And uh, okay, so technically there is a YOLO option at the very bottom, but I, I think some YOLOs are very like unreasonable, and that's actually a very unreasonable one to do. I think <laughs> so. Uh, typically, I don't do the ones that are unreasonable. Yeah, if you are curious, uh, seventy-eight percent with uh, five hundred thirty-three thousand channel points think you will die to a YOLO this run. All right. Well, there's a good chance that happens. <laughs> Okay, not that one so though. So far we're good. We got we got seven more. You know, we're we're actually doing some pretty good work here. I think so too. Yeah, we're actually getting through them pretty quickly. Okay, so this yeah, one's a little complicated. I'll, I'll try to get this one. This one. Oh, yeah, these guys. Yeah, I gotta make sure they're too. We'll get out of here. Gotta make sure those guys don't spawn on me, so I have to kill them. And good YOLO. Wow, thanks viewers. You guys are uh, really hooking it up yeah. today. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> This room is actually quite difficult. It's kind of technical. If you make one wrong wall jump, then uh, uh, they start flying all over the place, and it never it never works out well. Okay, so this is maybe a little unreasonable to YOLO, but I'll, I'll, I'll make an effort for it. And the reason why is because I got to do this. Uh, it's going to take some time, but now I have the runway to do the YOLO, and here we go. No damage. No damage. Oh, that's a good YOLO. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I skipped a lot of that, uh, and thanks to whoever donated. So that was uh, that was amazing. Now this this room kind of sucks. I have to wait. There's another bomb block, so kind of have to wait a little bit. If you, oh, I gotta get out of there. If you don't wait, then you will die instantly because this acid hurts you bad, mm. like really badly. Oh, I wish wait, I could have. Hey, I wish I... something something is this randomized. Is this even randomized? Oh! oh okay, we're good, we're good. Everything is good. Heck these guys, by the way. Okay, we'll lay this over here. And I'm going to propel myself this way. Please don't hurt me. Please don't grab me. Okay, we're good. This is uh, these are the worst rooms you can get in uh, kind of like the early game. Uh, I, I would say at the, the whole point because they're real huge time killers. But I got through, and uh, this is not a room I can yolo in. So we'll move on forward. Okay, uh, okay, I'm gonna try one attempt at this, and I got the spike suit. That's oh double frame perfect gosh. trick. And now Disgusting. I can take it and I can YOLO. So <laughs> no that was amazing. Way. I got to pull that off. No, <laughs> That's a, and he didn't get punished. No, I didn't get punished. So oh, I pulled wow. off uh, as a double frame perfect trick to basically kind of glitch the game into keep letting me keep a spark. And uh, yeah, I got that through. It also, the devs understand that that is in fact a trick and I got 10,000 points for it. So. Pretty sick to pull that off. I can't usually pull that off ever, so. Yep, so I'm writing down our blue suit, put it to the highlights real all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. 
Has Eddie even played this before? Yes. Yes, he has. Yeah. Just a little bit, you know? All right, we're, we're down to four more. I'm amazed, like, we've only had that one really bad room so far with the yellow wing. Like, <laughs> This is the room if I yell it in there, I would die because this crab on the wall would get me. It's, uh, it's always a fun one. Alright, so let me get through. Let's go left. Alright. So this room has a cleanser, but it's not worth it. Oh, okay. Things don't hurt that much right now. And Alcatraz is one of the first tricks you kind of learn in Super Metroid speedrunning. And, uh, yep, you get 2,000 points for it. So here's another YOLO. All right, right into that wave beam. So, not getting punished. Three to go, left in the queue. Reminder, everybody, five subs or 1,000 biddies. We will add a YOLO shine spark to the queue that Eddie will have to do at uh, his earliest convenience. <laughs> All right, this room is pretty bad without ice. I do need one super, which I already have, so. Did a little unmorph to delay the drop. Grab the seeker right here, and let's go right to get that spacer beam if I can. All right, crabs. The, the crabs. <laughs> I do have an extra life, so I'm not not as nervous. I I can play a little more freely without being too nervous of dying right now. But they the crabs will get me. <laughs> I've seen many a runner fall to crabs. Okay, this is a bad room. This is uh, not the best seed, unlike that previous one. <laughs> I like seeing it though. <laughs> uh, okay. Don't need to reach that. Yeah, it seems like this one just like eats time. It eats a lot of time, yeah. So the spikes do 600. Uh, didn't quite make that. Okay, so. I don't want to waste too much health, so we're going to do this this way. It's actually quite difficult. This room is like really, really bad. <laughs> oh, because that thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got one, one thing. Okay, you know what? We're going to go this way. Let's just go for the D-boost again. I do have the health to spare. Right. Shoot this guy. So he's getting me in the way. But yeah, bleeding some time at the moment. Two minutes. Oh. Oh, I fell. That's uh, embarrassing. I get the double frame perfect trick, and then I fall in the pit. <laughs> that, that's how it. That's how it goes sometimes. Yep. You can't beat exactly. yourself up too much. Grab that secret. Head down. Safe from the yellows at the moment. I'm not sure how many we have left, but I'll keep going until uh, you got I'm forced to stop. Three more. That three I more. Then, then we're out unless uh, chat decides to give us some more. <laughs> okay. It this really one's is in your hand. This one's from downtown. Care about. <laughs> from downtown. Uh, uh, ow, my head. Okay, so I <laughs> killed Craig. And let's go this way. Here, let, let's do this for fun. We'll go all the way. I'm gonna bonk. Bonk. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's try that one more time. <laughs> Am I gonna bonk? There we go. Nope, you're good. Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's killing me. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, okay. We're fine. We're okay. fine. Kill that. Get some all right, points. you're down to the last one. Oh, he decided to scam me there. Okay, so my reserve is gone. Uh, I cannot YOLO from this room, in this room. If I come from the other sides, I actually can, but not after I break that. So this is a yolo -able room. Oops. Uh-oh. I remember this one. So... Let's get this all set. Okay. We'll go down here. And normally I would exit out the top, but because I have to YOLO, I'll come back down here for a second time. We got that cleanser. We got the up the shaft secret. And we're coming back down, and I have no reserve, and I'm going to YOLO this, and I'm going to hope I don't die. <laughs> That's the last one. This is the last one we have. Oh boy. Okay. And you're clean. All right. That, that is all of your required yellows. Okay. You know, we got through those. Like, I was expecting a, a little bit unlucky there. But it's, uh, yeah. I think I got the luck out of the way in the beginning, so. Mm -hmm. Early super. I, I value uh, I value early supers uh, quite a bit. Not 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 the 
technique, or not the trick, but like getting uh, super missiles early <laughs> in arcade. Uh, mainly so that you can kind of um, uh, kind of get ready for that mother brain fight. Um, otherwise, you lose all your tanks basically. So, yeah, gotta be gotta be um, vigilant about picking up the ammo, but you can't waste too much time either. Right, so normally that bug will that Silva will fall to the left, but he's didn't. So I know he's just stuck in the little prison right here. So I'll take care of him. Grab the secret. Grab the e tank, and we're out. Uh, so we killed Fantoon. So what that means is all the wreck ship rooms are active and now very dangerous, whereas before they weren't. Oh boy, yeah. So I'm safe here. We have gotten into uh, some of the wreck ship rooms that you normally wouldn't have been able to get to in like vanilla game, but it's still powered off. Or is it like you only have access to the unpowered rooms? Um, that you normally would. Yeah, so I got the attic earlier, which normally you, I don't think you could get to. But yeah, even if they're powered off and you can't normally access them when they're off, um, I believe you can get them in uh, in arcade. Oops. So I'm doing a little wiggle strat here to grab that. Basically, if you do a little wiggle, uh, you hold angle, you press right, and then you let go of angle before your uh, turn animation happens. You oh, got this room again. You will um, you will go like a few pixels to the right. So. That was the plan, and that's how you kind of grab that, even if you don't have uh, bombs or any way to propel yourself upward. So that's just like a, a big time save to be able to just get that room. Yeah, yeah it yeah, is. So Ice Beam is uh, nice, but in some ways it can be a little annoying, um, just because it takes two hits sometimes to kill things. Um, and in, in some, in, it could be a good or bad thing, but they also introduce uh, Metroid rooms. So what that means is uh, some of the Metroid rooms, specifically the second Metroid room, if you enter from the left and enter from the bottom, uh, you will often just instantly die. Uh, that's because there's two Metroids, and they will actually come at you from uh, two angles. So you can't cover both angles. So the, the strat actually is anytime you go through, you have to acknowledge that anytime you go through a left door, you might get that room. So you must... Um, you must go into the left doors running, or else you risk death. That's wild. What a game. <laughs> what a bot. All right, here we go. And fortunately, I don't have to YOLO, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually carry the Shine Spark. And I will use it if I feel like it's necessary, or I could just let it die out. It's a more conservative way to uh, kind of get the benefits of the... Okay, this is a bad room. <laughs> uh, yep. This is probably the worst room in the game because... You like bowling. Uh, you just straight up lose a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is the room that makes everyone mad um, because there's nothing you can do about it and you just lose like 30 seconds. Now, there is a reserve on the right. But to make matters worse, I can't get it because you need a power bomb to get it. <laughs> so, yep, that's uh, not looking good for this run. <laughs> yeah, this was fixed in Metroid Prime, where you know the, the shows will just shoot you out, randomly, mm -hmm. you know, rather than taking you on a leisurely stroll down the stairs. <laughs> All right, so here we're just going out the right. Only 35 seconds left, so this run is not going to... Oh, this is a good room. So I'll show the strat that you typically do when you have speed booster. It's kind of technical. So you want to kill that guy. Kill these two pirates. Kill that guy. And then you do a short charge here. And then you angle spark here. And that gives you the not plasma spark bonus. And it lets you get up there safely and kills that top pirate. It was... Discovered by a uh, runner named Beef Robber. That's, I call it the Beef Robber Spark. And I have another bad room. So this is where I needed someone to uh, hook me up with a good YOLO, because this is a really good room <laughs> if you can make it through. But uh, I'm likely going to die at this point or run out of time. So I got to take care of this guy. And there's some waivers that are coming, but I have to go. So I'm just going to go and take the hit. 
At room 70, they actually almost killed me. You saw they did 300 damage. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly fine. But it's Perfectly okay. Normal. Fortunately, I took a lot of, uh, got a lot of health earlier, so I'm in a good spot to have survived that hit. Let's get this. 11 seconds left. Let's see what I can do. It's fine. Yeah, no, 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 no problem here. No problem here. Just, just go to this next room. No, you're going to get the, 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 the time back. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. so you're, you're not going to blow up here yep. in this next room with zero seconds remaining. Nope. It's gonna be I'm alive. Fine. Here we go. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, see, there we go. Fine. Yep, see? absolutely. It's not even worried. Yep. I The 500 points that got me through the door uh, kept me alive. <laughs> and uh, we already have charge, so we're getting out of here. 20 seconds left. Metroid room. Pull out some any percent strats here. I don't have any supers left, unfortunately. Just like in any percent, these guys never want to give you missiles or super missiles. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys. Because now I have the bonus. I was going to time out otherwise, so here we go. Completely fine. Alright, no damage. 16 seconds left. Various suit. Dangerous rooms unlocked, but I do have the plasma and I do have reserve. Free super. That's gonna save this run, right? Twelve seconds yeah. left. Uh -huh. yeah. sure. All right. So technical room coming up. Love that uh, that moonfall there. Yep. So I gotta get a really tight short charge here. See if I can do it. Oh, I'm choking. And I get this up to Chef 2. That's 5k plus 5k. It's another plus 30 seconds. So very important. Um, it's a very hard short charge. But if you can do it, you get a lot of points for it. I want to remind everybody, yeah, the, the timer did say 0, 0, 0. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Before it actually hits 0. Good work keeping it alive. Might make it to 100 rooms yet. If I can, that'd be pretty sick. There's a bonus up there, but we're just getting out of here. No going up and down the elevator for YOLO here. And here. It'd be a shame if you had to YOLO. <laughs> it would be. Oh, this is not a good. It's this room again. All right. Oh. I don't have much time. Very technical room. And four seconds left. Let's see if I can make the most of it. Um, I gotta go. Let's get get a boss. Hook oh, it up with the boss. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I tried, but that was a good run. That was a good that, run. That was a valiant effort. I think you probably went 10 rooms further than uh, any of us expected it to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. This is, this is wonderful. What can we do but go again? Just one more game. Yeah, keep it going. Yeah. So actually, you know, you didn't die to a YOLO. Uh, I did not. Run, no, so I did not. Pay that one out. I think I could actually pay that out. It's like, Yes, there it goes. All right. How does it feel to be free from the uh, the wrath of the yellow? You know, honestly, I kind of miss it. I don't. Maybe that makes me kind of weird, but you know, I'm kind of, I kind of, I kind of enjoy the. Uh, you know, there's that, there's that, that thrill, <laughs> the risk. You know. All right, here we go. We're off to another one. We get another. Oh, do we have another prediction going up by any chance? Yeah, yeah. Let's get. Let's go back to uh, do another one. We could do you know fifty or less rooms, um, greater than a hundred rooms, fifty to one hundred. Um, kind of similar to the one we did on the first one. And everybody, get your points. In. All right. I'll try not. My, I'll try my best not to die in the first like three seconds. 
gonna put some points in for this. <laughs> I'm gonna put a hundred thousand in. A hundred thousand. Hundred thousand of my own points that you're gonna make it to room one hundred. Uh huh. Ben, you're putting a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> Look, I gotta, I gotta throw these points away somehow. <laughs> you know, one of my shows a couple weeks ago, uh, I got a huge payout. Oh, really? A very stupid prediction. So, I I'm basically a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta walk back a little bit. If you're shooting him and he steps forward, when you, when his head kind of gets blown off, then you have to you have to maybe get a few shots in and then run back, or else he'll definitely hit you with a swipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I wanted to put uh, also just you know sweeten the pot a little bit, you know. <laughs> uh, take my hundred thousand points, chat. It's right there. All you gotta do is cheer some bits and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it would be quite the shame. <laughs> Be a fortune, you know what? You know, lucky conduct. Thank you for the thousand videos. That's a YOLO that you are going to have to do. Well, so deja vu. If anyone wonders how I got two of the same exact room at the same time, uh, when you pick the charge item up, that room is considered a different room now, so it's a new room added to the pool, technically. So that is why uh, I got the charge room twice. Deja vu. I'm actually gonna be sweating this time on the. <laughs> <laughs> on the yellow, whenever you do get speed booster, you're 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 gonna make me sweat too, honestly. Cause uh, here, you know, what? let's go this way. For, for for the content, Eddie. For the content. Yep. You know, the thing is, I haven't made a fool of myself yet. Oh boy. Well, I'm about to now. Um, hey. It's it's pretty common <laughs> to die at just room like 20. Is all I'm saying. It just hasn't happened yet, luckily. And I can yellow this room. So here we go. I'd laugh so hard if this is the run ender right here. <laughs> so we're hard. about to find out. Oh God, oh God, okay, I think we're okay. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive. Yeah, you know? Uh, yep. yeah, not even close, not even close. But thank you for the YOLO. <laughs> uh, Lucky Kodak almost got you there. Yeah. Oh <laughs> almost got me there. Lucky Canuck is definitely someone that has gotten me on my stream before a few times, so. <laughs> All right. Woo! Gotta be careful here. And let's continue. Yeah, I got an emote for this. Oops. Ah! All right, so one of the important things, I think, when you're trying to play arcade at like a higher level, in that previous room, there were some things I did not have to kill. But, um... Because it you can kill them like very quickly without wasting too much time. It's kind of important to see like in what instances you can eke out as many points as possible without costing yourself any time. So it's just uh, very important that I got a few like random kills. And here we go. No damage. Well done. Oh, hey, our favorite. I can't believe no one. Give me a YOLO here. I mean, oh, you can get still... off of me. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah, you, you can still do whatever you want. You know, the, the chest stuff, that's just forcing you to. <laughs> if you want a YOLO on your own accord, I don't think we can stop you. <laughs> if this, like, run still going and we're at, uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern. Like, okay, all right. <laughs> this one's for free. It's time to just YOLO every single time. <laughs> all right, so another slow room. Um, I think that previous room, I got gauntlet like back to back to back or something like that, right? So mm -hmm. that's kind of why I timed out. Usually I, losing on time is like pretty rare, I would say. For me, um, 
prior to room like uh prior to room um room 100 but it was a uh, quite a bad scene we even had that bowling in there definitely a good one all right so this one room is a little dangerous those pirates would one shot me the little gray gamers won't they're worth a lot but i don't have any way to kill them so so there are the secrets actually underneath that platform. So what I do is I do a small spin jump, break spin so that my hitbox enlarges so I can grab it. And uh Craig with no missiles. Yep. So no 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 quick kill here, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, no he's ever died to Craig, right? Uh, uh well, <laughs> fingers crossed, we'll see. So I'm gonna start off by no doing some ever died to charge shot damage. Should get two hits in. Now he gets big. Yep. Some call this a Don't DLC. Are so <laughs> really? The, the worst was like in the in Dread. Dread, the yeah. Pack. Oh, his belly button's so disgusting. Wash, please, when you take a shower, please wash your belly. <laughs> don't, don't, like, use soap. Don't just, don't just leave it. <laughs> GG. All right. Thank you know, it's not fight. often we get to see Crate's legs uh, on GDQ, so thank you no. for showcasing that. Absolutely. All right. Wait, what is this? I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> you know, I didn't even realize that until <laughs> you brought it up. You know what? Let's get like, this. Wait a second. You know? <laughs> wait a second. Hold on. Is... No, we, we, we will not utter the phrase. We're, we're more creative than that, damn it. <laughs> or are we? All right. Yeah. Secret right here. Get some extra points. And let's get out of here. Oh, free tank. I'll take it. The E tank's not gonna, you know, keep me alive in a, a fight against a lower Northrend monster right now, but you know, any any little bit helps right now. Alright. So fan, you got you got hundred K on past a hundred on this one, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, You're so I gotta. How are you feeling? Uh, you know, I'm gonna say it's not looking super hot, given the fact that I have this barrier early. Ridley's uh, you know, that's weird. Oh well, now now Ridley's definitely showing up. So Ridley has two doors, left and right. So if I take a left or right door, I can get Ridley. Um, if I take a left door, I can dodge Create and I can dodge. Um, I can dodge uh, Fantoom. Because you can only get them from uh, taking a right door. Uh, Dragon I cannot get right now because I don't have grapple. So Ridley is in logic, and it's always a little scary. And if I get it, I would hope I, I hope I could do a Ridley fight before the uh, before the end of this. That'd be that'd be pretty sick. Mm -hmm. It can get very technical, and uh, I think Ridley is. You asked me like maybe what um, one of my like favorite things are in in this uh, in this game, and I think a good Ridley fight is. One of the uh, the best things. All right, so here we go. We got Fantoon. Fantoon is uh, base forty, but Varia does uh, divides everything by two. So right now, Fantoon does um, twenty damage base, and for every ten rooms, he does ten more damage. Right now, so only hitting for fifty. I should be able to do this, especially with uh, the supers. If, this if is... you don't, I'm just gonna say you're throwing. <laughs> well, he is giving me the slow pattern, so. As the timer stops, we're good. Okay. So get that enrage off. It's effectively the same thing as hitting with seven missiles, because uh, I did two plus a uh, super. I do love the boss HP bar. Yeah, it's it's pretty good, especially when you fight like Mother Brain and Ridley. It's like you you kind of it really helps. Okay. Nice, nice. I love when you can just get the shot timing almost perfectly, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it gets rid of all of the flames coming out. It's just like a big pickup, iron pickup. Exactly. Yeah, one of the things about uh, arcade, I think, and one of the reasons why I was like very interested in it is uh, I, w I wasn't any percent runner, and if you run any percent at like a high level, um, I think one of the hardest things in arcade. Is are the boss fights, and fortunately, uh, they're very conducive to 
being an any percent runner because yeah it's pretty si pretty similar so we'll wait shoot that hang super. on I, hmm? I just noticed a little feature of these flames oh you know <laughs> I, <laughs> I got I used to like, them <laughs> yeah i was like wait hang on like like now that i'm paying actually paying attention watching you know my guests do the run instead of just ignoring them and doing other things. Um, yeah, yep. <laughs> there, there's kappas there. They do have kappas in them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, no well, way. <laughs> okay, so room 40 Ridley. Luckily, it's not 41, so I'm not taking the extra damage. He might still be one shotting me, though. I don't have high jumps, so this is a loadout that I'm not as used to. If I can do this fight, which I, I, I've done before, it, it'd be a miracle. So here we're gonna try our best. My channel point, my hundred thousand are on the line already at room forty. So Ridley's AI is way too complicated to explain. There's a giant AI flow chart out there that I studied when I was attempting to get better at any percent. And you honestly probably need a PhD to fully understand it. It's it's so complex. But the gist of it is he goes pogos and then you want to break spin. When you do a spin jump and you break spin, that changes his AI. So that's how you get him to turn around. So jump, break spin, and then he turns around. I use the shot because I want to charge a shard shot. So the pogos are the common ones. And then the next thing he can do is a swoop. So on the swoop, I'm going to go to the wall. He follows the swoop with the lunge. So he does a lunge right here. And now he's... Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, my points. My points, they're gone. <laughs> I was supposed to wall jump there. I made a mistake. No. I saw the soup, but fortunately, uh, you know, honestly, that loadout is really hard to do. Really. <laughs> my points. I'm sorry, Fed. You know what? You said you had like a million points. I don't feel sorry. <laughs> well, I don't have a million points any longer. Oh, 900,000. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Well, we, we still have like uh, about 90 minutes. I mean, let, let me make sure <laughs> my clock is right. Yeah, we got 90 minutes for more arcade action so we can still keep on. Are you having a good time, Eddie? Oh, absolutely. I'm always having a good time. You, you, you don't want to bail yet? Yeah, no, no, time. no. I can go. I can go. <laughs> I can go the distance. I can go the distance for sure. Especially if the people in chat are having a good time. Uh, uh, type one, you, you know I have to get this in every single show. Type one, if you're having a good time, if you are enjoying the SM Arcade by the wonderful Eddie. Uh, we've had some interesting seeds so far. <laughs> oh, <laughs> love, definitely. Love the fan tune going into the Ridley. Uh, wow. Yeah. <sighs> I was thinking like, oh, you know, like you know, every 50 rooms or something on room 50, like you'll fight a boss and prepare for it. It's like, nope. <laughs> 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 That's not how it works. <laughs> Yep, I got that various suit. I had charge beam, and uh, yep, the devs decided uh, let's throw them to the wolves. <laughs> yeah, I, I think everybody's having fun. I'm having fun too. That's good. That's good. Make sure you're going and following Eddie, by the way. All right, heading onward. Let's get that smooth bonus. And do I have bombs? Okay, I don't. I, I always have to do that. I have to. It's a sanity check thing because I do. I play so many of these that I just like forget if I have bombs or not. So. Always got to make sure. Grab that secret. Let's grab these. So once again, we're starting over. Let's take these right doors if we can, because we really want those beams. Um, we really want the beams. We want that speed booster. And uh, we just want equipment in general, and those are all in the right doors. So wave beam, definitely one of the best beams you can get. Probably a little bit better than Spazer just because it goes through walls. And this room's a little scary. Because those things are called ouches, and they will spawn and they will one-shot me. So will these little fish. Well, the fish, yeah, at this point, I think because I hit uh, room 11, I think they will hit me. Or they will one-shot me with the multiplier. You know, the one thing I will say is I don't think I've died to a crab yet. You have not. Yeah. I would have made fun of you if you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a... Uh, one of my favorite emotes is... Uh, is that, like, Dancing Crab video. Um, 
I think the email is called like crab please or something like that. So every time, every time uh, I'm hosting a race between some of my runners, if they get killed by a crab, I always make sure to tell my chat to spam crab please. It's always, it's always a funny one. Uh, I don't think I've actually seen this. Can can we get some crab please? <laughs> you don't have to wait till Eddie dies to a crab. You know, this, this is specifically for us. So. Okay, that says, yeah, I'm going to go look this up. Alright, to the Googles, to the crab, please. <laughs> I love it. The fact that it's like a realistic looking crab. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it's like a really popular like YouTube yeah. video. Here's a crab that's coming. Too slow, not gonna get me right now, but... There is some like forbidden tech I could have maybe showed off there. It's not really worth going for, but it's underwater wall jumping. Um, it requires really rapid left and right movements. It's definitely harder to do on a, on a controller, but I can get it on both ones. Yeah, I, I can get it on both. But uh, in general, the time that it takes to get that is probably not worth it. You do get some power bombs though in that room if you can. But yeah, this beam so much better. With no beam, BT takes 40 shots basically, so it's kind of a snooze fest, honestly. But got this uh, nice full beam combo minus the ice, and it's it's a good one. It does a lot of damage. Pretty much one shots everything I want to, at least in this stage of the game. Alright, so... The head? Oh wait, he, did he get head skip? Wait, I, see. I always feel bad whenever I, uh... Um, whenever I do the bomb trezo, and the, the head blows up, I was like, dang it. I oh, up. yeah, so... I messed up. One of the, one of the famous uh, commentators in the Super Metro team, the Hockey Towner, whenever he does commentary, he loves calling it the decapitation animation. <laughs> That's uh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Burns so many frames. Mm -hmm. All right. I remember just sitting doing SM practice for like an hour, <laughs> making sure I just got the muscle memory down to um to avoid spawning that animation or having that animation. The reason yeah. you know, it's, it's just like a damage gate. Basically, you want to hit him with a powerful attack to uh in the HP before um, that animation can happen, basically. It's all about manipulating health. Yep. I guess if you want the detailed explanation, BT has uh, 800 HP. Once he goes under um, 100 HP, his head gets blown off. And missiles do uh, missiles do 100 damage. So you want to get him down to 100 and then finish him off with a missile so you skip the whole animation. The decapitation yep. animation. Well, so far, Plasma, always a good room. Go that secret real quick. Still go right, though. Uh, plasma is temporary, and I would still want... Actually, no, I have uh... I have all the good beams at this point. I don't mind not getting ice at this stage, so I could just not go down if I want to, but... Uh, I need the speed booster. I think I don't have that right now, so I want to go right. Yeah, shout out to the Hockey Towner in Twitch chat, coincidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Aki's a great guy. All right, let's get this clipping bonus. Whoop. And sometimes this ghost can actually spawn while you're going through the door and actually kill you. It's happened to me at least a few times. I know these crabs are here. No crab please today. At least not right now. Uh, and speaking of crabs, this is a room that has a lot of crabs. Uh, there is a cleanser bonus in here. Uh, I wish I had power bombs because there's some cool tech with power bomb placement that will kill the crabs efficiently. Fortunately, I can't do that. Take oh my gosh. <laughs> well. <laughs> well then. 34, like we're, we're just getting worse every single time, Eddie. What, what's going on? God, I thought I got someone good on Game Masters, but you know, <laughs> oh my goodness, all right. Just that was uh, a record holder or anything. I think that was karma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, th th this is a perfect example of how difficult this actually is. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> you yep. can go to six hundred rooms. You can you can go to thirty rooms. Yeah. 
Super Metroid's incredibly difficult, and this is a very difficult version of it, so... All that talk about uh, how I wasn't going to get hit by a crab and uh, get plasma, I'm fully loaded, great seed, and immediately die to a crab. That somehow, somehow managed to avoid my, uh, my plasma shot. I'm gonna. Right, room one is the speed booster. You know what? <laughs> this run only two subs, 500 bays. We're going back down. You want to see a YOLO? Um, yes, I'm doing this without Eddie's consent. So just because I find it very funny. <laughs> two subs or 500 bitties, and uh, we will force Eddie to YOLO through the next room. Well, thank thanks for that, fan. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, got to be careful. This room is really dangerous. I had to make sure I was hugging the wall. That's the crab room. I was not paying attention. All right. We're already there. Lucky Connect with 1,000 more biddies. That's two more. Oh, boy. All right. You're going to have to do very, very early on. Oh, so boy. 1,000 biddies. Not even, not even giving me a chance, huh? Okay. No. All right. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. Oh, okay. Lost my damage list. That's fine. It's hard when you enter this room because you have to react really quickly. And I have speed boosters, so... Uh, oh, I wish I really... Oh, do I have morph? I don't think I have morph, right? Um, no. Oh. You just got... Yeah. Yeah. There was a piece of tech I really wish I could have showed off if I had morph. It's called the Wall Cleaner, invented by another arcade runner called Krokemeyer. Uh, kind of the original arcade main, I guess you could say. Um, everyone started calling it the Eddie Tech because I guess people were watching me and they saw me do it first, but uh, <laughs> I always want to give credit to the person that I saw first, but you know, some people, sometimes people just go, oh yeah, that's the Eddie Tech. But no morph, can't do it there, but basically I would keep the blue on morph, uh, morph on morph, and then I would uh, just blast all the pirates on the wall. Hopefully we get the room later, maybe, later, maybe we can uh, give it a shot. Oh, this room's oddly terrifying. It is. Um, it's one of those rooms that if you don't have anything, you have to know to immediately go, I'm out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, with the ice, you can take care of uh, the beat tumps. All right. Well, qu quickly getting loaded up. So I got all the movement. Now, one of the problems with high jump boots, it's, it's a good item. And speed without high jump is very, very janky. Uh, but... Um, one of the problems with high jump boots is it does put some more suitless Meridia things in logic. And so you'll get some pretty slow rooms. There's notably, there's a, a Batuun E-Tank hallway. It's just a long hallway. Um, the game expects you to have gravity and speed booster, so you speed boost through it. But uh, you will get that room without uh, without gravity, so you just lose like 30 seconds of that room for no reason, essentially. So that's one of the problems with high jump. Can introduce some bad rooms, but you know, the movement's very comfy. Of course. All right, so I got some YOLOs to do. How many do I have right now? Two? Uh, you got two. Two, okay, let's see. These are not yolo rooms yet. This is not either. Take care of that crab. If I did not kill the crab fast enough, I would have died, but I'm familiar with it, and this is a yolo room, so it's morph. Let's get this. And here we go. Let's store the spark. And let's get this YOLO. And it is an amazing YOLO. Whoa! Fine <laughs> skip. I can't believe I got rewarded so heavily <laughs> right there. That was amazing. Well, thank you, whoever uh, donated for that. Okay, so this is a YOLO that normally I don't always reward because all those doors I just passed up, I could have just gone there. But for the sake of getting the YOLO off the table, let's just go this way. Let's get this Alcatraz bonus. And here we go. Another YOLO. And free 500 points. So thank you. Right. Thank you for the YOLOs. charge beam and I don't have spazer yet so I'm gonna take these right doors I have the option of going down to the left 
and going to the right. It's about the same time, so who's in right? This room is always good, as we've seen before. Bark up. We'll take off the ice beam because we're going to move file down the left and kill all the pirates on the way down. Oh. It's okay. Little hookup. And let's get this ice beam here. All right, let's do a fun let's do a fun little trick here. Instead of going out this right door, let's go here, knock through, get some points, and go out the left. Cause why not? You won't end up at Ridley. Calculated. Calculated. Now the up doors at this point are going to be a little bit better up and down doors because spore spawn is at the upside if you go up. And uh, Croc is at the bottom doors. And there aren't as many up and down doors in the game, so you have a high, pretty high chance of actually getting them. So, yep, that's preferable if you kind of have the option as long as you're not really going out of your way. Let's grab the secret right here. I left. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh, uh oh, what's going on do you, here? Do you, have, do you have Twitch chat open? Uh, I do. Oh boy. Oh quick, no! Could you do a quick math. Not not Ta. Ta is the creator of a uh, a bot called Funtoon, which is uh, <laughs> one of the most uh, you know. It's for for Super Metroid runners. That's everyone kind of has Funtoon in their channel. A uh, very very intelligent programmer uh, knows quite a bit and is donating to get me killed in this run. So yeah, thanks, that, that is ten more yellow. Okay, all right. So I'm going to try to get a, a spicy one for him. Here we go. It's a tricky short charge. Got to get down here. And we YOLO down here. All right. And not bad, not bad. Thanks, Ta. I, I have I have several more to go, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. I'll, I'll mark it off. And also, Juicy, thank you so much for this. Oh, my God. We got another 500 days. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, and you know, I figured this this is going to be a very good opportunity to remind everybody of a, just a, I have a couple um, general hotfix related things. So if you are just joining us now, this is Game Masters on the GDQ Hotfix, and um, all of your subs, all of your Prime Gaming subs, give subs, bits, all all that cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel, um, help support these shows and keep them running, uh, keep our uh, wonderful tech going in the background. Um, so if you do enjoy watching our daily speedrunning and content, uh, consider up with the channel, like, uh, Zeno Veritas just did. And yes, I will say that counts with two a yellow combining your uh, resub with the previous resub. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and add that one down here. Um, let's go. Uh, also, um, so everybody knows about uh, AGDQ coming up. I imagine if you're on this channel, you know a little bit about Awesome Games Done Quick. Uh, but we do have another event. Our next uh, Frame Fatales event um, is going to be a Frost Fatales coming back. And that's going to be March 3rd through 10th of next year. So you can do exclamation point FF in the Twitch chat. Or um, our website for that is gamesandquick.com slash frame fatales. And therefore, more than Okay. Run submissions just close for that, so uh, stay tuned for the uh, the games that's coming out soon. TM. All right, I think I was able to get one little yellow there a second ago. I should be able to get one here as well. Grab the secret, run through these two cacks, shoot that door, and bam! Woo! Please don't right, kill good. me. Uh, this is a little uh, sketchy. Oh, oh, no, you're okay. Fine. You're, All right. Your, uh, your shine. What was the official name for those? Like the shine spark benches. But uh, kudos on that. The 500 videos. Yes, I got that marked down for another YOLO to do. Yes. Right. You, you better get to work, buddy. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working. I'm working. <laughs> All right. 45 with 500 more videos. I'm just making so many tick marks. <laughs> oh, this is where I died last time. So. The redemption arc right now. <laughs> yep, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> not even worried for a second. My, uh, not even close. Not even close. Okay. Well, I wanted to kill these guys because they do. They're. Oh my. Where is that guy? Oh, okay. So that crab. That crab is definitely a global crab. So he moves even when. Uh, okay, there. Are, okay, you I know almost what? I, landed I, on that. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wanted the cleanser, but you know what? I give up. Okay. 
get this charge here. Okay. And let's YOLO out. I don't even know how many we have left here. Oh! I got more than 10. Okay. So let's, let's, let's kill these guys. Three points. Alright, let's see if I can store a short charge. Maybe I can get one in this next room if it's a... Uh... Nope, that would've been sick, but no, I can't, definitely can't do that. Alright, okay, and we have the full PRKD beam combo. That's the any percent. It's the best beam you can get without... Uh, without, um, whatchamacallit? Plasma, so... At this point, a question chat. What's a cleanser? What's a uh, that cleanser? Is in, yeah, you know, uh, I, I'll try. I'll, I'll try answering this one. So there are certain rooms in the arcade where if you clean out all of the enemies, and it's not for every room, just for certain rooms that have like many enemies in it, mm -hmm. it's a uh, bonus um, points added, which will eventually add to your time. Um, so you know, it's an option whether or not to go for it, whether it's going to be worth it. Hopefully that made sense. Oh, uh, okay. You're all right. Okay, you're okay. You're okay. This one I sometimes consider unreasonable. Wow, 12. Okay, all right, here we go. I got this. I got this. <laughs> it's a tight short charge, but I can do it. And I might be dead. Oh, God. No! <laughs> it happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye that run. <laughs> All right, bye, <laughs> <laughs> So that one, uh, they have little atomics. They're called atomics, <laughs> the little molecule things that fly around. Uh, they move very slowly. Um, but it's room 50, so there's uh, five. There's essentially five additional speed boosts on them. So they move kind of quick. And unfortunately, uh, because they start inside the little uh, orb, uh, the little little um, glass thing. I collide with the glass, and then it decides to poke me after that, and I will take the death. So I saw that. If I sparked lower, I might have survived. But, you know, that has implications in other rooms, so... <laughs> yep, that, yeah, that's so, so much for that run. You made it through 23 yellows before getting punished. So. Oof. Well, you know, not dying after... Uh, <laughs> Taking 23 rooms to die is actually pretty good. So mm. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> now I have to find Speed Booster again because we saw, we have some yeah, unclaimed YOLOs. That, that, that's it, we're gonna, <laughs> the, the fire sale is over. People took way too much advantage of it. Yep. <laughs> All right, so whoever uh, was doubting in uh, that prediction, uh, know that uh, Ta or whoever else was donating uh, hooked, hooked all of you up, so. Yep. <laughs> I was going to get world record that run, and then they decided to kill my run. That's what happened. All right. I don't think I have bombs. So, yep. Onward. No just checking bonus if I go to the left. Room 100 has, in fact, been reached. I th think I got it on my first run, actually, so... That actually uh, worked out really nicely. I got to showcase that I can, in fact, make it to room 100 in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so, a little bit of arcade history as I get, try to go for the damage list in this room. Um, this game was popular six years ago, and then did see that resurgence uh, in the last... Uh, four months or so, I would say. And uh, prior to that, the arcade time attack uh, record was actually uh, 127, I believe. I think it was 127. So um, <laughs> a lot of players recently going back into it, and now the record is it stands at 606. So a big, big jump in the past. But there's a lot of people at this point that have uh, broken that uh, 120 room barrier. Um, yeah, I'm curious how long your 606 is going to stand. Seems pretty, uh, pretty difficult to, to get that far. <laughs> so I think it's actually very mentally taxing to get go that many rooms. Uh, it's grueling. You have to go through so much Super Metroid. It took me close to... Oh, crab room? Get out here? Okay. It took me <laughs> three hours, 15 minutes, I think, to get through the room, uh, to get through all of it. So... Uh, I, I think it'll probably stand for a bit unless uh, people decide to really push it. Um, 
right now, uh, Oats and I were kind of competing, uh, and I think we kind of pushed it really, really far, and I think we may have gotten uh, maybe a little bit better than the other players, but I think if the other players decide to put some time into it, they could also do that as well. It's just a matter of kind of... A lot of it is honestly knowledge mm. and time, so... Um, but a beyond that, one of the biggest problems is going to be uh, getting good at the boss fights. So, obviously, if you're skilled at the any percent, I just shot that super for no reason. If you're uh, skill <laughs> skilled at any percent, it, 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 it does help because Ridley is what's usually going to end up killing you. And this seed is quite bad. No spark or anything. Uh, I'm going to grab this little secret right here. It's worth 2k. If you get that secret, that means in the back there is a secret, uh, there's a Chozo statue that you normally get 750 for. Uh, it means you won't get that. And the acid will kill you very quickly if you're, so you have to give it respect. Fortunately, this is a, with a power bomb, this is a little bit better because I can go on one cycle, but I have to wait for this cycle now. And if you don't have at least like 80 HP, this can easily kill you right here because you get touched by the acid for a little bit. Uh, Luckily, I've done this room a lot, so I can get out of there pretty quickly, but people often die there because they get caught in the acid, and then uh, they start to try to turn, and then they end up just dying. So, uh, yeah, if you're in that turnaround animation, you just kind of get locked out of doing anything, and you sit in the acid too long, and you will die. Grab the secret right here. Let's go right. Ooh, sneaky. Mm-hmm. For anyone interested in Super Metroid in general, uh, but maybe, you know, have watched people speedrun the game and whatnot, um, but, you know, maybe the game is too intimidating or whatnot, I think Arcade is honestly a great way to kind of learn new tech and whatnot. Super Metroid is one of those games that once you kind of, like, learn how to do a basic trick, whether it be a mock ball, whether it's, like, Alcatraz, um, we have names for all these uh, tricks. But once you kind of learn, uh, it's very addicting because the movement in this game is so rewarding to learn and it's 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 very difficult but you know everyone starts by learning something like a simple mock ball um you know maybe doing some basic wall jumps and i think arcade's a, a fun way to get people to kind of get started in super metroid if uh you're a little too intimidated to do anything else so turn, turn off the ice beam so i don't have to two shot them and uh, getting some quick points and some health Not gonna get the cleanser here. Don't have that speed booster. It's gonna be a little too slow. I think one of the most difficult barriers to get to that does come with practice. Yes. Um, so just just sticking with it is, you know, learning how to, you know, th this is a, a run or a game that requires all of the buttons <laughs> to to be. <laughs> It can be a little bit awkward, but thankfully, you know, I'm honestly surprised a game that came out in the mid '90s has the the button mapping that you can do. Probably because they knew it's like, dang, this run button is really weird. But yep. I think once you get that, like a, a position, a hand position that's comfortable for you. I know there's like I, I use the fat thumb method. Yes. <laughs> where you just, yep. uh, even though my thumbs are not very fat, but I, I, can, <laughs> uh, I can make it work. Yep. Um, just uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to your shirt because you yeah. probably don't hold a Super Nintendo controller quite like this for most other games. Exactly. Yeah. So when I when I play, um, oh, got that speed booster. I, I forgot I had right, to do start this. Start cranking through the eleven. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Don't have the reserve. So, all right. Well, missed that secret. Let me grab that. Start start over on these uh, yolos. I'm not sure how many I have left, but this is a yolo bull room. I got a question. Does Eddie use custom button mapping or defaults? Well, you know, I'm not sure if you do that with your hitbox controller. But, uh... Yeah, uh, I actually don't use defaults, and I know that sounds weird because it's like, why would you do that when you have a when you have a, a hitbox controller? But uh, you know, I, I I grew up with uh, this button layout for a long time, my entire life basically. So I use a specific button layout, and I uh, do switch my controllers for Super Metroid. But for me specifically, I have dash on my ring finger. Item select is, my, is uh, with my middle finger, and then shot and oops, deja vu. Uh, shot is my uh, index finger, and 
Oh, oh, got in there. I'm marking that off. <laughs> and jump is my thumb. Oh, getting hit. It's fine. Okay. It's funny I got that big pink uh, deja vu situation again. Okay, I might die this room. Okay, gotta get away from those guys. They will one-shot me. Gotta take care of that one. There's one more over here. I'll shoot a charge shot, so I freeze them. And then these ouches down here will kill me, so I'll wait for the water. The water is... might not be able to see it, but there's a water line. And when it touches you, you can't really jump, so... Gotta be careful. That's one of the hardest rooms, also. <laughs> Typically kills people. <laughs> Um, because the flies look like, well, they're just flies, right? But the fact of the matter is they're Meridia, uh, they're Mitter, uh, Meridia monsters, and, uh, they're kind of more like later game monsters, so when you don't have any suits, they will one-shot you with and the damage. Meridia's, what, player. zone three of the, the four major areas? Yes, I believe so. All right, so another bad room. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. Oh, oh, I, oh, I might be dead. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I got uh, sucked into the sand. Yeah, so you can kago basically if you're um, turning while you get in the sand. Uh, you'll basically just fall directly into the sand, and underneath the sand, there's actually spikes which is really cool thank you dear force for implementing that and uh it's very very hard to get out <laughs> so took that death room 41 wasn't even the yellow so i can't blame the chat but you know what <laughs> what can we do but go they, they, again they tried they, they tried their best they did and here we go I, i'm expecting the room two speed booster let's go let's right go here. room two speed booster nope this is a crab tunnel i'm gonna try to make it okay i made it <laughs> so for everyone that in arcade that's died in room two that's usually the room because you try to make it but if you just run you will not make it <laughs> so what you gotta do is you gotta spin jump so you're like tiny you gotta spin jump into the bottom half of the door and you can make it uh, a little bit of arcade tech but uh yep i've definitely died there in room two that crab will kill you he does hurt a lot Two, three, four. Like I said before, uh, when his head gets blown off, he's got 80 HP. So four shots. 20 times four is 80. So I count to four after I uh, his head gets blown off. All right. So, that's that secret, right? So. <laughs> yep, that that secret. Okay, it looks like oh, it's just right in between the right in between the two tubes. Why don't you just go get it? It it, it sucks. <laughs> 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 Trying to go into one tile gaps in this game is actually like the biggest nightmare of all time. So yeah, it, it's very often you just lose like three seconds trying to get that, and uh, yeah, don't want to do it. Makes sense. If anyone's wondering why I, uh, when I'm spin jumping and I like break spin or hit angle when I land, it's because um, it allows me to land faster because I extend the hitbox and thereby I can uh, act quicker. So once I hit this button, I know that I'm landed and I'm getting hit by everything. But yeah, I know that I land and so I know immediately I can like jump if that makes sense. So if I land, I can jump and I can jump. Whereas otherwise, it's a little. Uh, not as consistent. Okay, so this room kind of sucks, but we have ammo. Got it. Here and everybody just joining us. You're watching Game Masters on the GDQ Hotfix. Eddie's running Super Metroid Arcade, a mod of the game 
that turns it into, you know, like a classic quarter munching arcade game without actual quarter munching. Mm -hmm. Unless you uh, all want to, to give us some subs and bits to force Eddie to do yellows, but we still got <laughs> nine more to go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm up for the challenge. I'm up for the challenge. This room is a little tricky when you don't have a beam. Gotta, gotta go into full sniper mode here. Got him. Okay. Seems like a slow room, but I'm getting so many points killing everything, and there's a cleanser in the end. I can duck. Alright, so we'll shoot this guy, we'll jump over this guy. And, ah, I don't have the speed booster, do I? Not yet. Let me double check. Darn it. Ah, I, w I really wish I could show off that yeah, tech. Yeah, that was the last run. Yeah. It's okay. It all blends together. Alright, so now, manipulated them all to be on the left side, so we'll just fall down here. Count one, two, three, four. How many pirates? One, two, three, four. That way. No damage. Right here, let's go ahead and get the clipping bonus. Can go out through those doors, but don't want to leave the 3,000 points on the table. And a DLC boss. We got the sports bomb. Wait, was this, uh, was this added specifically for the arcade? It was, definitely. It definitely yeah, did not okay. exist in the original game, guarding the first supers that I you mean, would I normally get. Yeah. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I don't have much ammo, so this might be kind of a slow fight. Yeah, because you only get, like, two missiles in at once. Yep. Oh, you have the, the super, at least. Did that super yeah. missile hit? Nope, it, it did like not. Hit, yeah. I completely whiffed the fight, so everyone's in for a snooze fest here. Yeah, getting in the, the multiple hits are uh, quite difficult. If you space them just right, mm -hmm. the, the most I've ever gotten in a single volley, I think, was four. I think mm -hmm. that's, like, the most you can get. Like, happened once ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's two, pretty two hard. Two or three is a lot easier, but um, really comes down to knowing where a spore spawn's going to open up, which mm -hmm. I think is the... If you do the same amount of damage, yes. it's going to be the same position. Yes. I forget his, uh, um, what, whatever, like, uh, he speeds up, like, what health gates it is. Two missiles, three missiles, I don't know. I mean, I've never seen this boss before. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so typically, uh, Spore Spawn blocks the first supers you'd ever get in the game. Um, but as speedrunners, we know how to mock ball and we know how to get the early supers. Uh, let's get a charge shot in here. So, uh, yeah, that's why you never see this guy. Uh, it's very rare to actually find Spore Spawn. Now here's a fun little thing. I'm just gonna do that, see if I can clip through that guy. Whoop, okay, there we go. That was just for fun. All right, let's grab that secret. I want that to be a secret now. <laughs> Add the achievement devs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have Varia with absolutely no equipment. I have no beams, no nothing. Let's go, Ridley. So, uh, it is possible. If I get Ridley, it's probably not worth playing. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah, I'm definitely in a in the prime position to make demands of the, of the developers. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, they're going to take too long without any beams. I don't want to use the super, so I'm just going to de-boost through. Uh, it's early in the game, and these uh, pirates actually don't really hurt at all. And this is a really, really bad room. Um, ah, it's like, it's almost like it's the worst room in the game. It is considered the worst room in the game, yes. <laughs> uh, this is really bad. Okay, so let's, let's see. How am I going to even do this? This would maybe be a reset. I think I killed the pirates up there. Okay, let's just kill this one. And you know what? I actually can flex some tech if I can get through this. There is a strat that I learned. There was a randomizer league. There was a randomizer league, and this wall jump I'm about to do is nearly pixel perfect. And let's see if I can get it. But does it expect you to IBJ up there? Yes, it does. But this is a this is a trick that I actually practiced a lot for randomizer league, and Ooh, that's like a nearly oh, pixel perfect there we go. jump. GGN. Uh, now I have to take care of this guy. <laughs> Might take me a while. <laughs> yeah, I can't really, uh... Cause that would kill you. Yep. 
But yeah, that uh, wall jump. It. I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> That wall jump with a uh, high jump boots is much easier. It's actually what you do in the any percent speed run. But without high jump boots, it's extremely precise. Extremely precise that I think most people don't know how to do it. But if you are a competitive rando player, there are some modes where you will lose to someone that can do it very well. So I put a lot of time into practice in that specific jump. And I'm glad I got to showcase that actually. Yeah, that's awesome. I could probably sit there and practice that for five hours and not get it once. <laughs> uh, you know, no joke. We've had, um, you know, I don't know if uh, Nabdi is in this chat. I think I saw him earlier, but he's an excellent speedrunner and he's an excellent randomizer player. Uh, but we had a race. We were racing against each other one time and um, he definitely had to spend eight minutes in there not getting it and he lost the race between <laughs> us. So just have to point that out. He's an excellent player and even he was not able to get it. <laughs> within a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> I think the fanciest thing, like, I can't really do too much fancy other than, like, um, a couple speed balls through some rooms. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if that's what you guys actually call them. I call them speed balls. I, I, I call them like speed balls, uh, too, sometimes. <laughs> like, the, the one on the way to Ice Beam, uh, where they kind of jump up more through the door and, like, skip that. Mm -hmm. and then, um... On a good day, I can do the, the, the high jumpless route to the, the gauntlet, which uses those weird specific wall jumps. Yes, yes, those yeah. are those are tough for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, On so a good these day I can do that. These are horrible rooms. <laughs> uh, normally you want speed booster for this room, but now we're gonna have to IBJ up here. Let's see if I can get a double dive IBJ up here to save as much time as possible. Uh, I, I find with IBJs, you're either going to fail them immediately <gasps> or one jump from where you need to go. I know, right? It's, you just get excited. And I am literally failing it one jump back. Yeah, that was three times in a row. You know, <laughs> don't want to jinx it, but this is the one right here. Go. There we go. Uh, <laughs> first try, first try. <laughs> Always happens every time. Yep. We'll just say I got that first try. We'll, we'll, we'll edit that first part out. All right. Everybody, a round of applause. Let's get some, uh, I don't know, your, your best tap or clap emojis or something. People clapping. You got them. I know you do. <laughs> that first try, double IBJ. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so I don't well see done. I don't see that Silva coming down the left side, so I know he's stuck there. I'm going to go say hi to him. Hi. Hello, Mr. Silva. Sorry. Oh. All right. He opens this right door. So, gotta take care of them. And no speed boost for this room, unfortunately. So, we're just gonna get out. No no quick bonuses for us here. Okay, another bad room. There's a hop. Let's see if I can get him with this. Wow. Get him with the pseudo gun. Okay. There's so much just, like, weird tech in this game. That it's like just so obscure like nobody ever knows unless you go read the game anyway. yeah, exactly yeah and considering like I all have the beam combos what? yes yes and the uh the special beam combos too when you have um Ugh, I'm getting some pretty horrible rooms right now but yeah the special beam combos too uh heck I didn't know about the um the the crystal flash until like last year <laughs> Oh, I have a funny story to tell you. So, do you know how the Crystal Flash works, how you do it, and how you execute it? Yeah, it's like uh, you gotta have the power bomb selected. You gotta be below like a certain amount of HP. Yes. You gotta press some awful combination of buttons and hold them. Yep, LR starts. Uh, LR. Uh... There's a whole animation for it. I and remember. Everything. Like, what yeah. the heck, Nintendo? So, now here's the funny thing. Uh, the Crystal Flash also requires you to be yeah, under 50 HP. Um, or 50 might work too as well, but 50 or under. Um, you also need 10 of each resource. So... It's so specific. Yeah. And what happened in my world record, the 606, believe it or not, around room 300, I was in that room where you do the lava dive, where you're under right. acid, you're taking damage, and I took a hit from a fireball. And it oh. knocked out all my health. So I, I, my reserve drained, and I had a hundred health left, and I was, I was effectively dead, right? But what ended up happening is I had enough resources for a crystal flash. So in room three hundred in the world record, room three hundred fifty or so, 
I crystal flashed to save the run, and it was maybe the craziest thing <laughs> ever. That, that is so sick. <laughs> the fact that you, you chained that into world record. Is, yeah. <laughs> and going like basically twice as far. Yep. Legendary. Yeah, that's my favorite moment for sure. And this is really good. I got the reserve now. So now, uh, now I'm welcoming the speed booster and I'm welcoming the YOLOs as long as I can get them. Yeah, was Crystal Flash mentioned in the game manual? I mean, I didn't, you know, this game was way before my time, so I, I, I played on like, you know, whatever online service they've got now. Um, so I've never read the manual for this game. I'm curious, like, does it, anybody in chat knows? I, I really want to know the answer to this. Does it tell you how to Crystal Flash in the manual for the game? Or is it just like, no, spend like $5.99 a minute and call the Nintendo helpline. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I do know is that uh, you know in the in the like demo screen in the intro screen, if you let the game sit, uh, you do see the crystal flash, and then it's never explained in the game, but you do see like the whole animation, and you see the resources being drained, and you see Samus's health, so you kind of get clues. But it's it, it is definitely a very random mechanic. <laughs> You know, that the reason that's probably in the the demo reel is because the devs spent the effort making that animation that looks cool as heck. <laughs> and it's like, nobody's going to see this. Put it into the gameplay reel so someone sees it. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. You know, speaking of, you know, demos with weird stuff, this given Mario RPG Remake just came out, this still bothers me to this day is that in the demo reel of that game, I know it's completely tangent to, to what we're talking about now, um, it has like a little minecart segment. And it has, it, it shows them going at mushroom speed around a hairpin turn. Um, and they didn't, get, they didn't fall off the track. And I, I think I, I know spent, what you're talking about. I spent an unreasonable amount of hours trying to figure out how to do a hairpin turn at that speed shown in the demo, and you can't. The game <laughs> lies to you. It's cruel. It's bad. Ah. <laughs> Though I haven't played the remix, so I'm not sure if you could do it there, but in the original, you definitely cannot. <laughs> I've seen a bunch of people playing the remake, and it's definitely on my list of games to play because I play it. I loved that game as a kid. Yeah, I, I first found it because I was like waiting at my uh, like my cousin's house for like a wedding I couldn't go to. The only thing they had for entertainment was like an old super yellow SNES with Super Mario RPG. So I booted that up and saw that, and then it's bought. It's literally bothered me for years. <laughs> so... <laughs> you know, it's funny because I know exactly what you're talking about too. <laughs> yeah. Am I the only one that's bothered? <laughs> <laughs> it's a subtle thing, though. I feel like you oh have to God. you have to have played the game a lot. All right, so far things looking good. I still don't have that speed booster, though. Yeah, you know this is kind of uh, emulating the first run that we did tonight. You know, we're fifty-seven rooms in. Yeah, you know, speed booster is actually I think very common to get as well. Yeah. So I'm a little surprised. So I like laying this uh, power bomb here um, because it kills the. Three, uh, they're called Funes. Oh, I'm gonna do this wall jump, bomb jump. It's, uh, otherwise, I'd have to do. Uh... Oh, that's too low. This is the this is the best way to do it if you can get it reasonably quickly. Oh, yep. oh, oh, wow, that just barely works. Yep. Otherwise, I'm you gotta. Always amazed in these games how oftentimes there, there's a bit of a tech and it just barely works. Yep. Oh, uh, let's go this way. Yep. Oh. Yeah, we're good. We're good. The little bit of lava doesn't Not hurt. Scary. It's 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 the little bugs, the farm bugs that'll actually ruin you. So as long as I don't touch the touch the bugs, yeah, I'm good. It's funny how arcade makes you really scared of uh, just the small enemies that normally are pushovers. I do hear the uh, your your dog in the background. I gotta ask, is that the the same like pug that we see in your emotes? Yes, it is. That's my dog. Oh. This is a really bad room, but yes, that's my dog. Her name is Mandu. It's a uh, Korean for dumpling because she looks like a dumpling. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if you all can hear it uh, on the stream side of things, but uh, I'm sure after this, uh, the show is done. Whoa, they're so fast! Oh, my reserve! Ah. Okay, okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Don't worry, I have this completely under control. This is one of the worst rooms you could have got, by the way. Oh, my God, they're so fast. 
us. They're so dead. And heck, these guys. Oh my gosh, I don't have speed booster. Oh, this is so bad. This is incredibly bad. Uh, okay. So normally you would short charge and go through the rest of this. These guys all will one shot me. There's a flying ball ready to kill me. One more. I think that's it. Okay, we're good. That's one of the worst rooms you can get, but with with the resources that you have, if you have the correct resources, it can be good. Um, it can be okay, but I do not have the resources. Screw attack. So this is really good. Screw attack is one of the most powerful items in the game, pretty much one-shotting everything that I come into contact with, but uh, I run out of it very quickly as well. All right, so my reserve is empty. This won't fill my reserve, but if I get any amount of health, I'll get one point in my reserve, and that's all I need. So let's see if I can uh, find at least one thing I can kill that'll drop a little bit of health. Still haven't found speed booster. Um, you know what? There we go. Sneaky way to get a little five extra health. You can kill the platforms with a super. Crabs aren't gonna get me today. Or, yeah, we'll pretend the earlier crab death never happened. So, no way the crabs gonna get me today. All right. So I definitely need to find that speed booster because. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some of these YOLOs. I know. I'm running out of time. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it off. So thanks everybody for uh, all the uh, the subs and gifts to uh, get Eddie to do all of the YOLOs. We're gonna try and get to all of them if we can. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot more than I expected personally. So. <laughs> <laughs> But if you want to see more yellow action, just just go follow Eddie. I'm sure uh, he'll have a deal for you. <laughs> Give him a discount. Whoop. All right. So this is a free fight. Um, all you need to know is you stand underneath the pillar, and then you got to get really close to him, and you're good. You just upshot. So it's going to take some time, but my beam is decent, so it won't take too long. But yeah, Fant, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, <laughs> Shoutouts to uh, this guy being very, very hard, unless you know um, where to stand. Yep. So one of the funny things, and uh, when we were first all competing to get world record in arcade, um, one of the ways that one of my best runs died is Grant, uh, Golden Terizo has this funny thing where if you have exactly 32 missiles or more, uh, he'll mix up his attacks. So he's doing a farm attack against you right now. Mm -hmm. But if you get to 32 missiles or more, he can do this attack where he shoots like sonic booms at you. And in my first, I think it might have been a record run. It was like 170. So it was early when we first started running. Um, I had like 40 missiles and I started fighting and I shot up here. And I was looking at my chat and he swiped me and killed me and ended my <laughs> run. <laughs> which, was, uh, which was pretty funny. Looking back on it, it was actually quite funny. So now I know to dump my missiles. Alternatively, you can stand in the correct spot, but uh, it's 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 a lot more. Oh Crap. boy! Oh Crap. boy! Crap. He got me! He got me! Okay, but it's okay. I got my reserve. I got my reserve. There's one more here. There's one more here. Okay, now there's two, but they're stacked on each other and they're controlled by the camera. So, see that? This is deceptive. You think you kill one, but there's two. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, so not even close. Now you might be asking, why don't you use your screw attack? Well, uh, the problem is like if you like break your spin or something like that, there's a lot of ways you could die with the screw attack. So I'd rather not risk that. Uh, so the beam shot's just ultimately going to be safer. Go out this way. There's a cleanser in this room, but there's no reasonable way to get it. So we just get out. Around this time, my dog likes barking a lot. Yeah. My wife is usually coming home, and uh, I feel like my dog thinks that uh, barking will summon my wife. 
All these bugs I at this point. back at the same time, you know. Yep. Confirmation bias there. No, exactly. I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> what it is. All right. So no speed booster. It's pretty cool that I get speed booster hallway. Um, come on, please. There's please no give us way. The speed. There, there <laughs> is going to happen. Come no on, just way. for me. For There's the no show. way. It, it can't. Come on. <laughs> It can't come on, no. I want this so bad. No. More than anything. Oh, no. Nope. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I want it no so way. bad. No way. All right, Batoon. There's one problem with this fight. So basically, you stand in this corner. <laughs> <laughs> if you stand in this corner, you're safe. The top left pattern is like, dangerous. So as long as you... When Batoon reappears and pokes his head out, as long as you're standing here, He's going to shoot the same way every time. But this pattern, you have to do a specifically a jump forward and you got to scoot. But yeah, if he shoots there, I it's fine. When he pokes his head out, you know, it's like, ah, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute until he kills you. Yeah. But we are now I, at the I point. I would get a, a plush of this. Really? Yeah, I would. You, you would do that over like, I don't know, Bantoon or something? Phantom may be my namesake, but uh, I do like this guy. Wait, is it really? It is. Oh, that's awesome. I did not know that. I know. Okay, well, we have to go for it. It's impressive. We did have a Crocomire plush as a prize at one of the GDQ events. Oh. Sen did some, some theater with it <laughs> during the prize event. Uh, <sighs> I wonder who won that. Where they are today. There we go. Impressive. Impressive. Yeah. So, funny story about this. Uh, for six years, nobody knew what Impressive was except the developers. Not a single person. And it was just discovered uh, since the resurgence of Arcade. Really? Yep. Nobody knew what it was. And the devs kept it a secret. Uh, there were some hints dropped. Yep. Hints dropped. And uh, it was a big deal once people figured it out. So, now it's a legit strategy to actually use it to get points. So, yep. I think part of the reason is because you never go into that room in vanilla, typically. So it's like, who knows strats for that room. And in arcade, if you do a damage boost, you often will die. So it's kind of like, how is everyone ever going to figure it out kind of thing. All right. I don't know how I've managed to avoid speed boost for so long. It's actually kind of We're impressive. We're almost to room 100. Like if we yeah. go to room 100 without speed booster. It's you actually... Know, tat I want, I want to fulfill the promise that we've had. We, we do have a, a hard time limit at the top of the hour here uh, to do that prep for our next show, which is going to be uh, March by the one and only Church and Charters, so how to train a speedrun. It's a show all about uh, um, basically teaching speedruns to people like, over the course of a couple of hours. So. Should be fun. But I'm hoping we can get to these. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe, like... I don't have speed. It's actually really hard to not have speed for this long. So it's yeah, like I feel bad that we're getting so hecked by the <laughs> R&D here. Okay, this room's a little tricky. All those crumble blocks are horrible to jump on. And I have great. Okay. So I, I could do. This time. Oh yeah, you know, plasma. I have the plasma. <laughs> you know, let's let's try to do a style. Let's try to do an all missile quick kill. Let's let's see if I can pull it off. It's my favorite. There we go. Whoa! We got let's it. Let's go. We got it. Almost missed it at the end, but I nailed it. That's a cool one. It's actually potentially practical in like the actual speed run, but whoop, never really comes up that often. So, all right. Do I have to power bomb this actually? Yeah, I do. Okay, so gotta get the secret down here. 4,000, and we'll get the daring 5,000 up here. And we're gonna get speed booster, right? Oh. Speed booster, where are you? This room always has so much lag. So, you miss your jump, you touch a bug, you're dead. Gotta be careful. And I'm gonna take this right door because we really want speed booster. On game. Are we gonna hit double? We're over five rooms. Okay, 97 rooms. We're gonna hit a lot of rooms. I can't believe this. These guys will all definitely one shot me. I gotta be careful. But with the plasma, I can make short work of them. We're 2k each. Let's see. Whoops. All right. 
Let's get the secret here. I probably should have went on that cycle. No, I missed the cycle, but it's okay. That'll be fine. These little flames, believe it or not, are considered monsters, so they do scale with damage. I learned that the hard way in a good really? run. Yep, they they will they will kill me, or they will potentially wipe out my uh thing. Well, okay. it's on the way this to speed close booster. To speed booster, yeah. Yeah, it's sort of like French vanilla. Let's see. Uh, nope. Going same backwards. Texture, wrong, same way. Wrong, wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> wrong way. Other side. Okay, here we go though. Right here. No way. This is not speed booster. 100% speed boost. Oh, yes! on room 100. Yes! It is exactly, oh wait, exactly room 100. Exactly room 100. You get survivor for that, 10,000 points. <laughs> and it is now time to All blow right. up some YOLOs. We, we got 30 minutes to go through nine YOLOs. All right, we got this, we got this. We can do it, we can do it. Now okay, we're gonna try our best here. First one's gonna like end up killing me. This is a good room. There's a funny little secret here that's worth a lot of points. It's not in the vanilla game, which is why it's kind of funny. But this little hole, and you get 10,000 points. <laughs> so, yep, when I see this room, I get pretty excited because, yeah, I know I'm getting a lot. Okay, this is the room where it looks like you should be able to spark, but you can't because these stupid blocks. All these stupid blocks. Yeah, you can't do anything in that room. It's horrible. Uh, okay. <laughs> we're, we're now retreating from speed boosting. We are. <laughs> Okay, the secret, and I lay that. It'll kill everything on the right, and I get a cleanser. It's a good cleanser. And I cannot... Cannot do any YOLOs in any of these rooms. I'm not getting yolo room. rooms. Oh, this is a yolo room, so here we go. Here's a cool one. Now, these pirates actually won't die unless you go to the wall and spark this way. Sometimes they'll survive. That's because they have so much health, actually. So that they'll actually survive uh, a spark for like a frame. I think sp frames, uh, sparks through frames per damage or something like that. Oh, didn't quite get Oops. that. So if you want to normalize being able to kill them, you got to spark from the right side of the wall. And first YOLO. All right, we're, we're good. Okay. We're, we're okay. good. Yeah, thanks everybody who has uh, subbed and cheered bits to uh, <laughs> to get Eddie to do all these yellows. I think uh, this exceeded both of our expectations. <laughs> so, all right, we have eight more to try. Eight more, okay. All right. I believe. All right, let's do a fancy one. Uh, actually, maybe we shouldn't do a fancy one. All right, let's go out this door. Let's go out this door. <laughs> All right. And all right. I Clear. think I can get it here. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is going to be hard. Okay, here. Ooh, okay. All right. All yeah, right. yeah, that, that guy, he, I he, he, he's, 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 he's fine. He's fine. He's, he's not going to cause any issues. All right, there we go. Right. And the result is... Oh, we're good, we're good. I th oh, he's what? coming! Oh, okay, I have a lot. I have plenty of health, so I'm good. And, uh, well, we gotta do it again. So here we go. <laughs> I took a hit, but fortunately my health is good. All right, we got, we're, we're down to four remaining. Oh, okay. Oh, I get to finally showcase the really cool strat that I wanted to show. I'm really excited for this. This is what uh, was originally called the uh, wall cleaner. I like mis miscalled it the window cleaner one time, and then I think some people <laughs> called it that, but here we go. Oh, oh. Thousand oh, points cool. for each one. Oh, that's awesome. All right. I cannot get the spark there because uh, it's too far down at that point. Oh my god. Okay, I'm alive. We're good, we're good, we're good. Sorry, just making random speed noises. Don't worry about it. The, the, the first one is the dangerous one because you don't have much time to react to it. But uh, I get some speed booster rooms. Okay, nice. Let's get rid of that beeping. There we go. All right. can play in peace now. Lay this power bomb. 1,000 kill per... Uh, 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 1,000 points per kill on those face guys. 
And oh, I cannot get a speed charge in here, but what I'll try to do is start up a spark here and maybe that'll help. Okay, here we go. And that helps, and it's another YOLO. Uh, the Rinka spawning. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good, we're good. Yep. We'll do this again. Got three more to go. Can we do it? They're so fast. Go up. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's see if we can get that spark stored. Oh, we can. Okay. Normally can't spark in there, but that helped. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Good thing I actually blasted him. And now watch this. Why are you going up the elevator, you say? Well, if we go up the elevator, we have a longer platform. I wouldn't normally do this, but got to get those YOLOs in, right? Mm -hmm. So here we go. We got two more. Let's go through this door. Oh, right into plasma. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. If you do one more, you have fulfilled the YOLO debt. <laughs> the YOLO debt. <laughs> You know, I, I do this on my stream too, and uh, I always feel bad when I can't fulfill the YOLO debt. Alright, I can't... Uh, no, I can't, I can't, I can't uh, store the spark. I'll keep it in for this room and reach you there, so... Oh, I'm missing this wall jump a little bit. We got one more to go. One more. That crab? Clear. That crab is, uh, if you stop, you're dead. Ah, oh, darn it. Just hoping I could get it there. Here we go. Oh yeah, here we go. This is that room I got earlier that I hated, and we're gonna get that YOLO in here, and we're gonna clear that debt out. There we go, that's it. All of the YOLOs have been fulfilled. Oh my oh. goodness, and I think I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> With the reserve, <laughs> usually you can survive a hit, but if a Metroid is draining oh. your health repeatedly, <laughs> unfortunately, oh, there's not much I can do about that. That was a great... <laughs> <laughs> that was honestly perfect. <laughs> uh, hey, there is no way we are going to be able to end this at a better possible time. <laughs> Uh, let me count them. Let, let me count how many YOLOs. It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 33 YOLOs. Oh Mark my gosh. Day. Thanks to uh, the generosity of everybody in the GDQ chat room. Eddie, this has been a blast. I hope I had, I hope I had a good had time. Fun. <laughs> Everybody, I hope you enjoyed all the. <laughs> really, I'm really went out with the bang so there. Hard. Actual fireworks. <laughs> I <don't... laughs> yeah, I, I absolutely had a great time. That was that was amazing. That was pretty much yeah, best finish we could hope for, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, everybody. Make sure to go follow Eddie. Hit that subscribe button while you are there. Um, Eddie is on, like, um, I, all of us who have gone through it, uh, myself included, know how hard it is. Um, Eddie's been on the partner grind. Any help y'all can get, just go over there, get a follow, uh, watch the awesome arcade content because <laughs> I know more than anybody how hard that is. So best of luck on mm -hmm. all of that, Eddie. And just... Um, Wanted to give you uh, the floor here if you had like anything uh, else you wanted to talk about, any shout outs you wanted to make. Um, now is your time. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, uh, I'm sure everyone's been watching. My name's Eddie. Obviously, I speedrun Super Metroid. Uh, originally, kind of made my name uh, a name for myself by running Any Percent. Uh, maybe not as famous as some of the top, top runners that have really been grinding this game for over a decade, but. Uh, Afterwards, played some randomizers. Lately, I've been doing arcade, currently hold the record in this. Uh, what I've been doing recently is running a show called the Arcade Showdown, and I do that. I've been taking people from my chat, random people, other speedrunners that are good at arcade, people on the leaderboard, and pitting them against each other, and uh, that's always been a lot of fun. I think this Tuesday we have a match uh, against two uh, speedrunners, but are relatively new to the community. 
Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, hope everyone can tune in. All that stuff goes on my YouTube as well. So if anyone's interested in watching that stuff, you can watch the VODs on the YouTube. I do commentary on watching those play, people play. But uh, yeah, other than that, my partner application, Fant, as we talked about, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the first time you never get approved. Um, <laughs> yeah, never do. Never, never it get took approved. Like so five or six times. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So it got declined the first time, but the numbers have been good. And tomorrow is uh, the reapplication. So I'm going to reapply tomorrow. Hopefully that works well. But yep. other than that, Love yeah. Him. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Yeah, we would definitely be happy. Yeah, th- this to was so much fun. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been uh, keeping an eye on the arcade for a while now. I think basically since the revival happens uh, a couple months ago. <laughs> I was like, dang, I need to find the time to try this. I need to find the time to try this. And, you have you know, to. Mark it's my so words, good. Uh, I am going to try it. Like right now, um, uh, hi, I'm band underscore TV. I host the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been doing like a lot of Kaizo lately. Um, I started Kaizo this month, I'm shooting through uh, Invictus right now. I went from like no Super Mario World experience, and I'm about halfway through that one. So you all can do it too. It's fun if you uh, put your uh, put your time to it, uh, put your mind to it. I believe in all of you. Everybody can uh, can enjoy you know something like that, something like the SM Arcade, uh, especially with their when there's so many like different modes, like any at the start of the uh, stream showcase, the easy mode. So you don't have to go this hard. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely uh, not. There, yeah, there there are other options um, if you want to take it more casually, um, just uh, have more fun with it. So definitely. Uh, go through and you know take a look. Um, you know, we've had uh, the devs in chat uh, for this arcade. I just want to give a big thank you uh, to them for making such a, a wonderful game out of Super Metroid. Kind of like reimagining it in a way that I never expected it to be possible. Like the amount of attention to detail and care that went into this is like it's really awesome to see and just makes me happy. <laughs> so, um, especially when we can have awesome shows like this. Well, everybody. Um, that is going to be it for Game Masters today. But be sure to stay tuned because How to Train a Speedrunner is going to be coming up right after the break. So more hot picks coming at you soon. I'll see you. Okay.